Hi everybody. <clears throat> um, just getting s everything set up here. I think I'm all set up. Um, something to listen to. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm really curious how many people uh, like just listen to the streams as opposed to watching them. Because I know I do that with. Uh, I certainly do that with YouTube videos, like with Let's Plays and stuff like that. Um, I don't really watch many streams, but I'll put on like a, like a, a Germa, you know, like video of one of his streams or something, and I'll just have that on my second monitor while I'm working and not really watching it. Down you go, cat. Um, Dylan will be joining us again, uh, but he is, uh, he, he's going to be a bit late. Um, and I'm going to start here as soon as my... Uh, my tea is done steeping. Actually, I might as well get into it. Um, I have 40 seconds left on my timer <laughs> for steeping the tea. Oh, that's right, we're here. I actually, um... It was a bit confusing, because, um... I'm playing Elden Ring at the same time. Uh, and... I'm at the one part in Elden Ring that's basically like this... <laughs> so it's a bit weird to like try and separate out in my mind which you know which place goes with what. Okay. Gonna go get my tea, I'll be back. Yeah, I'd be really fascinated to know what percentage of of people um, like do that with let's plays and streams, because I assume it's a lot. Here, let me move this. It's a bit better. Um, should play Dark Souls three. No, uh, I'm probably gonna play Dark Souls two after this. I mean, if I'm, I, I might. I mean, we'll see once I we'll see when I get burnt out on on this whole Souls train. Um, honestly, I th I think it's gonna be it, it's gonna be pretty impressive if I finish Elden Ring and this. Um, but the next one I plan on playing after this, at whatever point that is, is gonna be Dark Souls Two. Yeah, that's why um, that's why I'm excited to play it because. It's, oh, look at those particles. For the splash, that's interesting. Huh. It's kind of cool. Just how they how they did that. It's it's kind of funky looking. Um, usually when you have like a splash effect like that, it's it's usually just sort of a a round particle. They did sort of a conical shaped one. Anyway, um <clears throat> It's probably the most difficult, really. Huh. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, that's why I'm excited to play uh, Dark Souls 2, because almost every opinion I've seen about it is either it's the best one or it's the worst one. Almost no in-between. Which um, I'm playing Remaster, yeah. I know uh, there's some people who prefer um, Prepare to Die Edition, but I'm just, I'm just not going to go through uh, getting it to work and getting it to, like, you know, run at a nice resolution and then having to ha run it at, like, locked 30. I'm just not going to do all that. There we go. Dex is the worst so Yeah, I'm just, I'm just fascinated to play it. I want to see what causes so many, uh, so many extreme opinions. Oh, ow. I even knew it was coming. The fact that people are describing Dark Souls 3 as just being kind of... kind of bleh, 
just kind of, not bleh, but like, uh, just kind of being more of the same but more polished makes me think I'm not gonna like that one as much, but we'll see. How to know with From Software games. Because, I mean, I assume a, even a bleh From Software game is, like, still pretty darn good. What was I even doing? I can't remember. Man, I love that attack so much. The running attack with the uh, with the great sword. It's, it's so fun. Um, well, there's some. Oh, is that a bit? That's a bigger one. Bigger rat. Out of my way, bigger rat. Oh. Okay. Was there? Yeah, there's one back there. There we go. Is the in-game audio a bit low? It looks okay on the mixer. Maybe. Yeah, let me know if it's too low. There is there is some weird mixing, which could be uh I suppose that could be a remaster issue, or it should just it could just be how the game was. Um, but there is some odd mixing of stuff. Oh, more rats in boxes, really? Oh jeez. They poison you so much when they hit you, it's insane. This tea's good. It's, um, Harney and Sons Victorian Fog, or fi Victorian London Fog blend, or something like that. It's pretty good. I think I like their... Ooh, item. I think... Ah, uh, wrong thing. I think I do like their, um, uh, just no Earl Grey Supreme better, but... Uh, okay, I heard about Royal Rat Authority the other night when I was, uh, playing Elden Ring, uh, and I was chat chatting with some of the New Blood guys, um, they were like, yeah, there's the Royal Rat Authority in Dark Souls 2, and I'm, so first of all, that's an amazing name. Uh, second of all, what, what is it that, what is it that is cursed about the Royal Rat Authority? Oh no! Where am I now? Oh no! Not these guys. Oh jeez. Okay, that sounds pretty terrible, uh, wizard. F yeah, I did too! I- Because <laughs> of Elden Ring. Like, oh, it's just- it's one of those- Yeah, I'm not running into that. This is- that's Curse Musk. I have no idea where I am right now. Oh, no! Um, I've met the Dung Eater back at Round Table Hold. I have not met him in- oh no. Oh no. Oh 
Oh, jeez. I have not met him in a different context. Oh, boy. Okay. Is that, is that everyone? No, there's one right there. Ro roll out of the curse. Okay, I think I remember this area. Maybe not. I guess I haven't been here. Ring of the Evil Eye. Okay. Oh, so Prepared to Die Edition is unlisted. I do own it. Um. Most of us remember this area. <laughs> Okay. I don't know, it's su and then in my in my brain I'm getting this mixed up with the sewers in ooh. Oh no. That didn't work. Okay. I'm getting this mixed up with the sewers in Elden Ring and or not the sewers, you know what I mean though. It was listed for like one cent. Oh, come on. You know, it takes a little while to. So if I press. No, that doesn't. Uh... There we go. Just had to start running earlier. And I get some humanity. Cool. So I know that this run is jankier than the one in Elden Ring. Or not run. Uh, this, this jump is jankier than the one in Elden Ring. But there is something kind of satisfying to me about it. Even though it's really weird and uh, clunky. not close enough there okay thankfully they don't curse you too f too quickly jeez i have i have no idea where i'm going wish i had messages i've done this every stream where i'm like oh i wish the online mode worked but like i really wish the online mode worked Ooh, that's cursed dust. What's that? Why did that break? It's weird. Thought I heard a, a thing. Nope, nothing behind me. Yeah, I, I imagine probably playing this on console would be better, because you still get servers. Ah, crap. Yeet! Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm doing I'm doing strength strength and pyromancy uh, 
this looks new. I don't think I've been here before. Oh, it's it's some of the uh, slop. Yeah, we hope everyone likes Gloomwood. It's, uh, it's definitely coming together. It's... Okay. Yeah, it looks like I could walk in there if I need to. Oh, looks like Dylan's here. Oh start the call in a second as soon as I'm not in mortal peril. Yeah, there's definitely something weird about the sound mixing in this area of the game. Okay. So I think I should be okay to put the controller down here. voice call. Hello. Ah, sorry, it's taking a sip of tea. Hello. Hi. Well, I am just exploring the sewers, and I my my brain is like freaking out because I'm in the the area in Elden Ring that is exactly like this. Um, <laughs> and so oh I I cannot <laughs> like I can't. Uh, figure out which memories. Oh, hey, it's a dude. Like, which memories are this or which are Elden Ring? That's that's not good. Yeah. <laughs> are you a? Oh, okay, you're. Well, Navigator you on deck. <laughs> yeah. Oh, let me get the chat window back. Hold on. Here we go. What does he have? Say. Allows a uh, bottomless bo allows for inventory management at bonfire. That seems. What is that actually useful? Uh, it's exactly like the chest in uh, Elven Ring. Okay, I don't have an inventory limit, though. Do I? No. Okay. It's uh, it just organizational. Just... Eh, like in, in that might be nice. In Elven Ring, I throw all the uh, items and stuff that I 100% are not going to be able to use uh, for my character. Yeah. I might do that. Crystal Grape Sword, huh? What is this? It is a, uh... Prior's 20 oh, yeah. strength. I thought that... What do I have? Oh, is a shame if you... but no, I... No. Something no. about the Crystal Grape Sword no. is, uh, no. special. Okay. Um, and I'm trying to remember what it is. And I think it's something not good, like, you can't repair it. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> let me, let me, uh, let me look it up. Okay. Um, in the meantime, I think I will get the, the box. Hmm. Well, I'm certain we will make a good so I am willing to, if you seek anything in the catacombs, use divine weapons. That will repair the reassembling skeletons. Oh, neat! He he gives you a, a clue about using divine weapons. You can't repair crystal re weapons. Okay. Well, probably not gonna spend any any souls on that. It says, I like that guy. Cannot cannot be repaired, cannot be upgraded, but it is quite a useful weapon for new players going through the depths and beyond. It has more durability than regular crystal weapons, and its attack power and moveset is roughly the same as a plus eight bastard sword. Okay. So, it can be, e it can make uh, Gaping Dragon and Quellog a little easier. But, to be honest, for this character, you're already running a Black Knight sword. I don't mm -hmm. think you're gonna get, I don't, I don't think you need it. Yeah. It seems okay. That looks looks like a boss arena. This is the gaping dragon boss, isn't it? I've seen screenshots with the uh, like the holes in the ceiling. Did you not do gaping dragon last time? 
Uh, I'm sure I did when I played it at first, but I don't remember where it shows up or anything. Catch. Yeah, um, with Zoo, like, it's funny because everyone calls, like, Elden Ring very Breath of the Wild inspired. Mm -hmm. But the funniest part about that is that it it has no durability, while Breath of the Wild's durability is absurd. And yeah. It's that's funny because, like, all their past games, aside from Sekiro, have durability as well. So it's funny yeah. that they didn't even carry over their own durability systems. Man, the color scheme in this area is just disgusting. I love it. Yeah. Like, this, this like, yellow, sickly green on everything with the blue fog, it's, it's great. It like, just everything looks... just looks wet and slimy. Yeah, it just looks so gross. I need a bonfire. I really hope there's one close by, because I have... Oh, is this a summon? The one that, oh, yeah. uh, that is close by is the one that you are operating from now. Oh, for... <laughs> I don't even know how I got here. <laughs> like, I don't know how I would ever get back here. Um, there's select... Whoops. This, oh yeah, that's gonna be into the boss. I think we, we opened up the shortcut. I'm pretty sure. I, um... If you go back a little bit into that tunnel... Yeah. Uh, last time I led you up some stairs that go back to the bonfire. Really? Okay, so there was a, um... There was another way back here that might have been a shortcut that I... Yeah, um, so keep know. going down that, uh... Oh, this is Oh, uh, no, not, not that way. Go the other way, and on the left side, there is going to be a set of stairs that goes to... back to the bonfire. On the left side? Oh! Yes. Like, oh, I see. There's some stairs right here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, it's all too shiny and reflective. Yeah, this game ah. came out... I mean, I know we're playing the remastered version, but this was the oh. case of the original version. Oh, I see. So I've, I already was already through all that, and I'd just forgotten, I guess. Yeah. Got it um, mixed up already, with the Elden Ring sewers. Okay, well, I'm you, gonna go spend these up souls, that shortcut. Then. Okay, um, we're all good, then. I just forgot. I, I really should not be playing this and Elden Ring at the same time, but, um... I want it's to. A, <laughs> we're doing we're doing an extra challenge mode. Yeah. I don't know if it is too shiny. I mean, it's definitely shinier than is realistic, but I don't know. It 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 has an uh it has like an aesthetic to it that I like. It seems yeah. kind of stylized. As I noted, this game came out um right when specular maps were becoming very popular in AAA games. Like, it, it was mm -hmm. essentially like a new thing. If you go back to, like, Demon Souls, there's very little specular in Demon Souls, aside from, like, some very clearly, we made a shader for this, like, surface. Yeah. Um, one of those... You jump into... uh, it's one of those deals where it's, like, it's a new thing, so, <laughs> so they're using it, using it too much. Yeah, but I mean, it it kind of works for this game because there's so many wet, dark places in this game. Yeah, I like it. I, I and I'm I may uh, I mean actually we we're, we're kind of back at this point now, uh, where with PBR everyone's overusing um, shininess like spe reflections and stuff. Now that like PBR shaders are kind of a trendy thing. Um, and I usually really don't like that. Uh, I, I'm fine with it here, though. I think it. I think it's because exactly what you said. It fits, kind of the setting it's in. Where you, um, I'm in a like in here. I'm in this uh, dank, wet sewer, and so it, it's like, eh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, um, let's see. Gloomwood doesn't have specular maps, but what no. it, what we did do is um, we have a uh, what did we call it? Like a reflective cube map. Yeah, it's very um, old school. It's it's very, like, early 2000s shininess. Yeah, so, like, on the on the revolver and stuff, you can see some, like, when you move it in the light, you can see lighting bouncing off of it, but it's it's just using a really old school kind of cube map reflection trick. Yeah. Yeah, and we're really, um, 
I don't even know if I need to save those, honestly. <laughs> um, we're, we're very uh, tasteful with it, too. Like, uh, keep those out. Just in, uh, Should I keep these out? Eh, I'll put them away. I'm probably not going to use them for right now, at least. Oh, halibut I'm going to keep for range. Crossbow is useless. Heavy crossbow, perhaps less useless? I don't know. I haven't tried it. I'll keep it, just in case. Don't need this. Buckler, god tier, target shield. Does that function like a buckler? Pretty much. Okay. Um... I mean, I, I guess... It's, a, li it's a little, um... It's a little, little, a little denser than a buckler. Okay. Um... But you don't really use your buckler for blocking. You just use it for parrying, so I'd just keep the buckler. Okay. Uh, keep that. I'll deal with. I'll deal with these later. I should probably see what my. Ooh, sack. That's cool. Probably compare my armor and say. Oh, what is this? Absorbs HP. Ooh, that sounds useful. Yeah, that is a useful one. Yeah, clean up my inventory a little bit. Have that for sure. Um, let's get rid of that. Well, actually, I might want that just in case. Where'd it go? Maybe I'll have this just in case. Um, okay, so armor. Is any of these better? The one has better poison resistance. That would be good for facing rats. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I need one of those boxes IRL too. Sorry, what were you saying, when, Dylan? Um, when you go down to, like, the Tube Light Town, some poison resistance might be good to have on hand. <laughs> yeah. Um, Goat Priest, I think, Dylan, you said earlier that this is actually less shiny than Prepare to Die Edition, right? I, I can't remember. It's been a while since I played Prepare to Die. Uh, it could be... But I think both versions have quite a high level of shininess. It could be that they, like, even enhance the shininess a little bit. Uh, when they redid some of the shaders, but uh, it's been it's been too long since I played Prepare to Die. Yeah, that could be. I definitely remember Prepare. Um, well, my first time playing through this game wasn't Prepare to Die. It was uh, Xbox, um, Xbox 360, uh, and I still remember that being pretty shiny. Hello. What even are those things? They're, they're just, just like goop. Um, there is a god. This is going to be the most obscure fucking reference ever. Okay. There, so, you know Calvin and Hobbes? Yeah. Um, every now and then they toss in this like little creature that I I'm pretty sure the artist uh really likes to draw. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Which is this like this green goopy creature with like a skull inside and just like sort of oozes around and I think it like uh, it like eats uh, Calvin at some point. I don't I'm remember sure that, th huh? Yeah, there, it's just uh, it's it's those kind of creatures. It's just like okay. an, it's an ooze. It's just an ooze. Yeah. Yeah. They're an Elden Ring also. All right, I'm gonna try this without the summon just to see if I can do it. Um, and if I can't, then I will use the summon. Yeah, they they most likely did come from D and D. This is such a messed up design. Yeah, it's so cool. I mean, what, what would you expect from something called gaping dragon? Yeah. I love it's like tiny head too. Yeah. It doesn't even roar with its head, it roars with its torso. Yeah. Uh, can I lock on? There we go. Ah, I see. It's gonna be those sort of hitboxes, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure fighting in front of her is a death sentence. Mm. I could, I could see that, yeah. Get gaped. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I 
love that attack. Dude, uh, every uh, every great sword I use in Elden Ring has that attack, and I never, I will never stray away from it. It's so good. <laughs> Goat priest having the existential millennial crisis. <laughs> I know that keeps happening to me. It's like, oh yeah, uh, 2016. That was only a few years ago, and then reality hits. I'm like, oh, that was. Not only a few years ago. Or 2012! I'm like, yeah, that wasn't too far off. That was a decade ago. What happened? Oh, no. <laughs> right, let's try this again. Yeah, and I do I, I do also really like this, the, um... That the, the specular is tinted, tinted yellow... The bricks themselves are green, and then, you know, the fog is blue, and it's just yeah. disgusting looking. It's so good. It's a great, great combo of colors. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't automatically... Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh. Wow, lock-on is not... There we go. Yeah, the walk-on's usually at the center of the boss, but this boss is so friggin' long that it's like... <laughs> it takes a while to get up to there. You're just gonna um, hang out there? Uh, I think this oh. dragon has a, a tail... Yeah, 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 it just happened. <laughs> okay. Oh man, yeah, the lock-on is... Sort of sitting there. Does it drop anything if you drop? I'll try it. Okay, oh, drop a high strength axe for a Okay. And by high strength, ah, shoot. I mean very high strength, like 50 strength. Oh, jeez. <laughs> well, I still want to get it anyway. This is this is such a sluggish boss compared with like Elden Ring. <laughs> yeah. I'm used to I'm used to you getting to the boss and the boss like does like a 50 chain attack immediately. I mean, I'm I'm dying to it. I'm not saying it's easy. I'm probably going to die to this guy too. Oh no, I didn't. Um it's just really weird, the, like, the pace is so different. Yeah, it's like, it... In terms of, like, how Elden Ring bosses move, this this boss moves like the friggin' Titanic. Like, yeah, this is like, just correct. slowly turns. I mean, I, I'm sorry to keep comparing this to Elden Ring, but also it's like, that's my only other point of comparison. And also it's really interesting to, to go from, like, a very early FromSoft game to the latest FromSoft game and see how many things are still quite similar and also how many things are quite different. It's, it's very interesting to me. It's it's hard to say, but I, I can't remember if... Dark Souls 3 is definitely faster. Um, it's much closer to Elden Ring, but Dark mm. Souls 2 is in some ways a little slower than this. Okay. Um... Interesting. But but the threats that they throw at you are kind of all over the place. <laughs> what does that mean? It means that some of them are quite... Uh, some of them are fast for how slow the game is. Oh, okay. Some of them are, are quite slow. Okay, or we missed the tail. Yeah, you might have to do uh, the two-handed swing down attack to get the tail rather than yeah. the, uh, the slash. Yeah. Ooh, hello. Oh, jeez. Damn, he just fucking slapped you. Yeah. 
It's probably going to take me a little bit to get the uh, roll timing down, since it's, uh, since it's different than the game I've been playing for a hundred hours <laughs> over the past few weeks. There we go. What is the that dragon gaping? What? <laughs> that okay. dragon's gaping you. <laughs> yeah. So I hadn't really looked, um, because I, I still, I, I need to, I feel like I can't really quite, ooh, that was, nope, I thought he was going to run away from me. Um, I can't really, really accurately express how, um, kind of taken by surprise I was by Iron Lung doing as well as it has, so... I put the trailer out on YouTube, and I'm like, oh, okay, it'll get like 100 or 200 views, because, you know, no one cares about my YouTube channel, or whatever. Um, and so I hadn't looked at it at all until today, and I looked, and it has like 19,000 views, and just comment after comments of stuff that I haven't read. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, I guess I should go through these at some points. Yeah, okay. Gotta roll earlier, I guess. Thank you, Goat Priest. Oh, that's right! This is on Switch! That would be really dangerous, I think. Really Given... dangerous? Yeah! Yeah, I don't know. I uh, Portable portable Dark Souls seems like it would... I, guess, I mean, I guess it wouldn't be that different. It's not like I'm spending that much time like, g somewhere where I would be playing on a portable device. But, I don't know, it seems like one of those things where it could take over your life easily. It just oh, that's true, I could that. play it on the toilet. Uh, it just reminds me of that old picture of the of the guy who's at, like, a... I don't even know what it's like, a, a Wendy's or something, and he brought his, like, laptop and his... Or he brought a computer uh, with a monitor and is playing Demon Souls at a Wendy's. That's amazing. I love the ones, I mean, I'm sure they're photoshopped, but the ones of, like, guys at the maternity ward with, like, playing, like, Doom yeah, 2016 those, or, like... Those are definitely, those are definitely photoshopped. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that roll was... Oh, not too early, actually. Well, I think you didn't iframe that, I think you just got out of Yeah, I think you're right. Kind of hanging out there. Okay, yeah, that's an attack. <laughs> that's an attack. That worked. That was weird. I, I do think you did iframe that roll. Or that yeah. Attack. Yeah, I got the, I got the, the axe. Yay! Awesome. Oops, oops, wrong, 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 wrong. There we go. Okay, it's going okay. Don't say that the boss will hear you. Oh, true, 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 true. So, um, some people have modded this game, um, so that every item you get is mm -hmm. random. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a trip. Yeah, it's, it's very funny to watch people play the randomizer mode. Let's get some Estus. Okay. 
So, uh, here, I'll see if I can... Oh my gosh! Okay. I just hit you at the very end of that. Yeah. I like it that he swings his tail even though it's uh -oh. not there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no. Is this an insta-kill? Oh, it's it. Oh, yep, that's it. Okay. Shoot. Um... Uh, didn't, didn't, wasn't watching what he was doing. Yeah. Um... So... When... So in Elden Ring, the role is, like, an, it's for the iframes, basically. In this, is it better to think of the role as, like, for getting out of the way of an attack? Because it seems like you don't have nearly as many iframes. Um, um yeah, I'd probably say. In this, for, uh, for, like, Elden Ring, and honestly for pretty much all the, uh, Souls-style games past Dark Souls 2, mm -hmm. um... Roll is all about the timing, mm -hmm. but for Dark Souls 1 and 2, Roll is about the spacing. Okay, interesting. Yeah, because I'm trying to do it as a, like, a timed dodge, basically, and it just doesn't feel like it's working out. Um, so yeah, maybe I need... So I'm supposed to think about spacing more than timing the dodges? Is that what you're saying? Oh, it doesn't do iframes for mid-rolls? Oh, interesting. Read all, okay, I, um, in this one you're missing both rules. Oh, I see. Um, so there's less iframes for mid rolls. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, the rolls in like Dark Souls Three and Elden Ring are. Very generous. Yeah, yeah, that's... Okay, so I need to get out of the, the habit of just rolling. And I need to actually, like, get out of the way of attacks and stuff. Um, I cannot see where I am. There I am. <laughs> Use this time to heal. And that would be why... The timing of all this is so generous, then, huh? Yeah, I pretty much, like, if you're allowed to swing once or twice, that's, like, an eternity, and you should probably get out of the way for whatever <laughs> comes next. Okay. So, like, here, we're gonna want to get out here. Yeah, he's, he's definitely, like, a, he was definitely gearing up to do that, like, run forward attack. Okay. Ah, man. Okay, so here, whoop, out of the way. Okay, when he goes, when it goes back like that, he's about to jump up, I guess, or she. I don't, I don't know if, because I don't know the gender of the the horrifying dragon abomination. I do not know either. I, uh, Goat Priest, I pretty much always have run low. I, I, this is probably probably because so of, it's gonna go up, right? Yeah. Um, okay. yeah. Most of my time in these games being Bloodborne, or at least the majority of my early experience. Um, but uh, I pretty much always ran very low weight outfits. I'm probably gonna consider doing that then, uh, just because I'm I'm so used to being able to rely on rolls. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Yeah, so like there, I shouldn't have waited around for. Oh, jeez. Oh, that was death. Holy crap. Um. Really hurt. Yeah. So like there, I shouldn't have waited around to. It, it's. It's opposite of what I'm used to doing, because I'm used to being like, oh, boss is ready to attack, so I'm, like, waiting and getting the timing right on the... Okay, let's look at... Let's yeah, um, Elden Ring is much more reactionary with how you play. Um, this yeah. is much more, like, predictive. Yeah. Uh, where's... Oh, there's weight. Ooh, black leather armor weighs quite a bit less. Can I see what... 
Okay, so that's still mid-roll. Um, where's... Does it show my... Like... Uh, what do you call it? Here we go. Equip load. It doesn't show if it's mid... Light no, or... That's, okay. That's a, that's a thing that they added later. I'm gonna get rid of the shield. I think that contributes to equip load, right? Yes. Yeah. So... This is one of the few that, instances we'll where the Black Knight Greatsword is actually uh, going to be difficult to work around. That is because, true! Yeah, cause because it's pretty it heavy. heavy. Hmm. I could... Here, let's get rid of that and see if it pushes me over. No, that's still mid. Alright, so... Let's... I mean, that's why I have... This guy around. There we go! That's a light roll. So can I get... Um... Gloves back on? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh, we'll see how this works. Cavall's ring. Yeah, that's a um, it's a ring to uh, raise or equip load. Ah, okay. Wait, am I nuts for thinking that I move a bit faster? Also, or is that a placebo? I can't remember. I tried pressing A to jump. <laughs> yep. There we go. Okay, hopefully the lack of damage on this isn't going to be a problem. I do have that summon I could always use. I don't think I need it, though. Like, this actually doesn't seem that difficult once I learn all the different attacks. Yeah. There's not a, many of them, it doesn't seem like. A summon will dramatically increase the boss's health, so it oh, okay. end up hurting you, too. Oh, right, that does damage. Okay, should have time to heal, though. <laughs> it's just clipping through the wall. Yeah. Ooh, that does a lot less damage. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so that's a slam attack. Start learning all these. Yeah, if you just, like, watch the boss, there is so much time where it's, like, doing nothing. <laughs> yeah. So is that Which him is prepping for a slam attack? That... He's, yeah, he's a bit more dangerous than the stuff we're performing, because he can slam. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of time where it's... Oh! Oh, jeez. Roll, 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 roll. Every health. Okay, yeah. Ooh! 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 Ah, uh, pressed roll. Didn't help me. I do so much less damage with the sword. Yeah. I do move faster with lower equip load. Interesting, okay. So it wasn't wrong there. Um... I would like to be able to do more damage. Let's see what we have here. Um, 96. That 220, obviously, is great. <laughs> There's the, uh, uh <laughs> the axe. 24. Uh, yeah, so the, the long sword is 3 weight. The black knight sword is 8 weight. Okay. So that's that's the cost of its uh, really high damage. I could always go being... naked. Uh, that's seven <laughs> naked time. Yeah, naked time. Might try that actually. Let's see how much. Okay, well, don't even have to go completely naked, just pantsless. <laughs> just uh, workout mode. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> workout mode. <laughs> Ah, 
I tried to jump. Oh, I can't roll over. Oh, I can roll over it. I can mush over it, kind of. I don't have the claymore. The I don't claymore know where you is, get it. It's where the dragon on the bridge is. Oh, okay. So I have to deal with the dragon somehow. get my souls first. Ow, or I'm going to get hit. Grab those. Alright. Okay, so it's gonna go up in the air, right? Or is it... No! Okay, that was prepping for a tail swing. Interesting. I'm pretty sure <laughs> that roll. Yeah. Um, oh! Oh! Jeez! Any, anytime you're behind him, he, he, can, he can do a uh, tail swing. Okay. a bit of Estus to heal right here. Uh, yeah, you have sense, sir. Yeah. Oh, come on, I press dodge, I press dodge! I'm pressing dodge! <laughs> Getting stun-locked by him stomping yeah, near me. The, literally every limb hit you, you were like perfectly <laughs> Oh, that's gonna be a tail swipe, isn't it? No, it's jump in the air. Okay. I don't like this. What is this? Uh, yeah, this, this is puke attack. Don't run off the edge, that would be very bad. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're still behind me, okay. I thought you would've... Gosh. Oh no. Oh no, stop attacking, stop attacking. Okay, alright, I think we're good. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Whew! Blight Town Key. Oh, Blight Town Key. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's not what I wanted at all. <laughs> oh, that was fun. That was a cool boss. It, it was. It felt more. Um, yeah, yeah, much less of a like timing based dance than Elden Ring bosses. It was neat. 
it's like uh, you killing a boss and it drops like passport to Kaelin. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like uh, you can keep that. Thanks. <laughs> it's like now you can kill a boss and it it's like you've unlocked the library. <laughs> Look how many souls you have. Yeah, I gotta go use those. So why did the Gaping Dragon have the key to... Oh wait, should I have summoned him? Then I would have gotten his Praise the Sun emote? No, you need to join his, uh, his Covenant to, to oh, get that. Oh, gotcha. I mean, he seems like a cool guy. I don't see why I wouldn't join his Covenant. Well, his Covenant, the way you get uh, um, the item for the Covenant is by helping other people. Well, that's possible. not going to happen then. Yeah, so... It's so stupid that the online... Uh, oh, that, that wasn't alive? I thought the rat was alive and chasing me. Hi, dude. Hi, we meet so what all did you have here? All this stuff I ain't gonna buy. I want the Black Knight, uh, like, great sword. Or, what is... This is just the Black Knight sword, right? And it's I want... the great sword. Really? Are, are you, do you want the, like, ultra great sword? I think it... Yeah, yeah, that's the the big big guy. Oh no, it, right, right. This is the Black Knight sword, and, yeah. and the really big one's the Black Knight great sword. Welp. Um, should I go back I, and save I, at the bonfire? I'm I would recommend that. spending your souls before starting Blight Town. Yeah, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna do that. <laughs> my recommendation. It's probably a good plan. Just move past the goop. You can farm a bug for about two hours. Uh, pass. Yeah, I'm good. Oh, that rat's still there. That's right. How do I get in there? I f you told me last time and I forgot. How do I get in there? Oh, uh, hi. Let's, let's spend your soul. What the hell is he doing here? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what. Yeah, I'm going to go spend the souls first and then. Uh, wrong way. Oh, yeah, that's the way of the rats. God, this is like uh, when I watch Eric play. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have to tell him where to go, like, everywhere. Yeah. In my, I mean, I am really bad at navigating in games, but in my defense, I am also streaming. Yes, um, definitely. Which takes, like, half your brain away from you. I got this. I kind of want to... Why is it all axes? Why are their tails axes? Like, how does that work? Anyway, let's uh, um, up. um, attunement. I. That's right, I was leveling attunement. Oh, that gives me two. Okay, only, I have to. Because have to, I only need two attunement slots, right? Yeah, I think two is, is plenty for if you're only going to play a little bit of pyromancy. I mean, I guess I don't really know. I would start off with two, and then get a feel for some of the spells, and then if you need more, then get more. Okay. I'm gonna level up my endurance a bit more, because I would like to be not, uh, not mid-rolling, but also be able to have some armor. And, and it's a shame you can't store souls in your box. Nope. Like, can, can I put armor can... on now? No, that's still going to be mid-rolling. Um, what if I just take these off? Hey, there we go. Okay. Um, okay, so how do I get into the cage uh, where the, the big rat is? So there's a couple of ways to do it. I, the way I would suggest is uh, to backtrack to where you fought the butcher people. Okay. Interesting, they don't drop. Oh, yeah, there they go. Yeah, they take a couple seconds. Oh, did I put. Oh, right, because of weight. I don't know if my... Oh, hello. That was good reactions, if I do say yeah. so myself. <laughs> that was an Elden Ring reaction. <laughs> yeah. Depths is a mess. Yeah, it was It was a little hard to navigate. Um, That's okay, though. Like, it wasn't that bad. Let's uh, be like, frank. Yeah. Sewers, sewers were never designed for common human traveling. Yeah. It wasn't... It, it. I didn't get to a point where I was like, I'm just done, I can't figure out where to go, so... I mean, with sewer levels, that's about the best you can ask, right? 
<laughs> okay, so I was oh, up everything here. Everything looks great. Yeah. Um, there's nothing up here. Except the guy who I let out. I don't yeah. think I've really used pyromancy much. I should... I should mess with that. Um... Down here is some dogs. Yeah, so you want to kill these dogs and... Oh, I do want to go down there. Okay. Uh, there's going to be a little staircase that leads you up to where the, uh... The butcher person was chopping up meat. Right. Try. Ow. A um a decent habit to get into. Mm -hmm. You don't really want to rely on blocking with a um. There you go. That fuck that dog up. Yeah. On blocking with a, a great sword, but if it, if a really weak enemy is gonna try and like stun lock you like a hollow like with a broken Ow. broken sword, yeah, then. Um, that's, it's better to block it than, uh, get hit, because then you'll be stuck in a flinch. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, there aren't out-of-dodge attacks, it's just the normal attack. Right? Yeah. Okay, so I don't get, like, little pokes or anything like that. Um, if you want pokes, you're gonna have to use the claymore. Ah! Okay, so I do if I use a claymore. Which I would like! I really like the claymore in Elden Ring. Um, I so think that's where I need to go, is it? Yes. Oops. Missed. There we go. <laughs> it I was that. Arts instructor. <laughs> Just block it to get hurt. <laughs> Here we go. Is that the big rat? Who oh, dares the little big rat? A little big rat. Looks like Zamboni, oh. honestly. I wouldn't. It does look like Zamboni. I wouldn't drop down just yet because I think there's items. Yeah. Item up here. Yeah. Yeah, I see one right there. Go get it. Spider shield. What is that? Oh, that's actually going to be very useful for Blight Town. It increases your poison resistance. Does it? Where's the physical item? I think it's in Where the does description. It say that? Oh, I see. Has resistance to poison. Perfect. <clears throat> okay, so let's see. I'm gonna... There we go. <laughs> yeah, Claymore has always been. Oh, it has an axe in his eye. That's cool. Ooh, Zw uh, Zweihander. I do kind of want that, too. Um, the only game I didn't really run the Claymore as much was Dark Souls 3 because I fell in love with the Hollers, Hollow Slayer's Greatsword, which is uh, similar. It's it's just a, um, I think a snazzier Claymore in some ways. What is... here, let's go look over here. Which is, uh, the Hollow Slayer sword is based on the Greatsword of Mira from Dark Souls 2, which uh, was pretty cool too. So this is on my way out. Have I been here? These all these tunnels all look the same. So yeah, the big thing you, have, you just have to be careful about is falling into the basilisk den of hell. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I actually did that at the start of the stream. Poison, crap, 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 crap. Um, I did that at the start of the stream. <laughs> it it actually went okay. I I didn't get cursed, so it's about the best you can ask for, I think. Yeah. Getting cursed. Um, is just, oh, uh, is this? Oh, okay. I think I know where I am now. Yeah. How did I not make it into the big rat's room before then? Maybe I just missed that tunnel, or did a secret door open? Because I've been here. Like I was here yeah, earlier. There's, you, there's one of the ways. Th th this area is a little bit like. Uh, there's a couple ways to get around it. Mm -hmm. This particular area is where you fought the, like, uh, dancing magician dude. Yeah, the caster guy. I was, uh, it... Because I came through this tunnel, like, at the start of the stream. Like, when I was yes. down here. So I must have just missed the tunnel into the big rat room then. Um, yeah. You can you can get to the big rat room through the tunnel, but, mm -hmm. uh, the, the way I showed you is nice because you can drop onto him. Yeah. Oh, jeez, where do I... I'm trying to remember where to go. Um... Well, I think through here, go... actually. Yeah, you go... You can backtrack way. to uh, the tunnel that leads back to the bonfire. 
Yeah, I think I think this is right. I just psyched myself out. Yeah. Okay. We have to. Yeah, this is the uh, the rat room, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is the rat room. Okay. Where the rat always hits you out of the box. It always. Is there even a way to avoid him? Yeah, you you attack the box first. But I, I tried that, and he he jumped out first. I mean, I didn't try it this time, but I tried well, well, that you earlier. Can, you can try rolling when he breaks the box. Oh, that's true. Yeah. I'm going to love Dark Souls 2. I don't know. I might. I like weird games. I, um, oh, thank, thank you, Caffeinated Cannon Fodder. Yeah, I'm really amazed at how... You know what? I'm going to I'm gonna break a... Or pop a soul and... Um, <laughs> uh, crack, a, crack a cold one with the crack, soul. <laughs> I'm going to crack open a cold soul. Cold soul. No, this is not right. Uh, here. Large soul of a nameless soldier. I'll try this. I don't know what the quantities are. <laughs> I also don't know how many I need. Is this enough? This is enough. Perfect. Um. I could level up strength. I mean, I might as well. I'll level up strength. That gives you uh, five extra points of damage. That's good scaling. Is that good scaling? That is good scaling. Oh, okay. Huh. Yeah, they. I. I mean, correct me if I'm if I'm wrong, but I feel like the like the leveling up only makes so like in another RPG, you'd like you'd like level up a few times, and your you know your weapon goes from doing like a hundred damage to doing like five hundred damage, and in this it seems a lot more. Um, uh, like a lot smaller difference. Is that yes. correct? That is definitely correct. Um, you couldn't... There's a lot of games where... Uh, let me rephrase this. This is one of the few games where you can entirely beat it without leveling up a single time. Mm -hmm. um, people do soul level 1 runs all the time. It's like a kind of fun challenge run. And it, that's like wild to think about because you couldn't... There's a lot of games where you couldn't... You could not do that. Eventually, like... If you try and play like an MMO like WoW and you fight uh, an enemy that's ten levels higher than you, you can't even touch it. it, it yeah. Everything will just like resist or glance or whatever. But they they specifically made this game so you you can totally if you know all the fights and all the mechanics and all the systems, you you can totally do it as a level one. Yeah, which is super cool. Um. Yeah, I really like that. Like, yeah, I can't think of another RPG specifically uh, where. Oh boy, what's this guy's deal? I don't think I've fought this once like this before. Well, let's just get into it. Okay, that's not too bad. Oh, I was. <laughs> oh, he heard you. Oh he dear. Heard you. Yeah. I was trying to. I was trying to do a poke attack. Jeez, that didn't work out. Remember, no <laughs> poke attacks. Had, you almost had, just had your first Blight Town fall down. <laughs> yeah. One, one inch from the friggin' edge. Oh! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah, there we go. We're in Blight Town, baby. <laughs> yep. <sighs> I do remember Blight Town. I don't remember much about it except for a lot of, like, wooden scaffolding and poison. Yeah, that, that about sums it up. And I think at some point there's some sort of, like, giant weird obsidian dudes or something like that. There's a lot of funny things in this, uh, in, in Blight Town. Yeah. I, my favorite thing is the giant... Uh, and I say favorite because I almost always die to this fucking, like, thing every time I replay this game. But there's a giant ferris wheel and you use it to, like, go to different tiers of the scaffolding. Mm -hmm. And I almost always die trying to get off from one tier to another, but mm. that's, that Ferris that's... wheel is run by a tiny dog. <laughs> uh, there's, like, a little red dog who's running the entire thing like a hamster wheel. <laughs> if, you, if we get to the Ferris wheel, I'll point it out. It's yeah, sounds awesome. 
Is there anything in these jars? Nope. I like the slide in this better than Elden Ring. I like that you can just double tap it and forget. And just slide down. Whereas in Elden Ring you have to like, hold down for the whole time. Okay, so perhaps planning on rolling away from every attack is not going to work out as well in Blight Town. Yeah. Ow. Oh, come on. Nope. There. Did not mean to kick right there. Um, well, in that case, let's bring out good old uh, automatic win button here. See how it does for me. God, talking about like, Ooh. there's actually it, it's uh, very cool. Oh God, these guys. <laughs> oh yeah, there's the it, buckler. I, there's... Did you just see the ogre fight? <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw you were like parrying him, and then I just saw the <laughs> ogre just fight like, like the whoop. whole lap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, if you if you notice uh, when you come in here from the depths, the fog immediately changes from blue to this like dark green. Yeah, and I'm poisoned. Oh jeez. Oh, in fact, oh, geez. You, are, you are toxin. Oh, is that different? That is different. Toxin oh. uh, is much more dang much more dangerous. <laughs> well, I'm dead now, so. <laughs> Oh yeah, the slide down the ladders was was deadly with unlocked frame rate and DS fix, right? Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, if you um, when you go through the the gate to um, the, those wooden doors to to Blight Town, you'll see the like fog dramatically shift. It's very funny. I imagine they're probably doing. Something kind of similar to Gloomwood, where we I just think have so. Stone, yeah, like uh, right here. Fog. Yeah. Yeah. It's like it's like really doop, green doop, and doop. blue right now, and then when you go in there, it just dramatically changes. Yep. I think it it's. I think it's more than just the fog. Look how. Oh yeah, my gosh! It's like an entire uh, yep. post-processing change. Yep. Huh. It's that's neat. It's, it's very interesting. Yeah. Super contrast, like the contrast is way cranked up uh, once you go in here. Post processing volumes, yeah. <laughs> we we have our own uh, thing in Gloomwood that it's not post processing volu volumes. It's like uh, lock on, please. Thank you. Uh, wh what is it? Weather. Yeah, they're like, they're called uh, wet weather volumes or something yeah. like that. Oh, that Although, did not disrupt them. Okay. Oh, you know what? Actually, they're okay. So it's a uh, it's called a room system, and they're mm, they, they're big right. old volumes um, that control uh, how not only like the the fog and the weather and the sounds and and stuff like that, but it also controls the sound propagation. Yeah. It is nice to see other games, uh, even newer than the, you know, than the era that Gloomwood is emulating, just straight up doing the whole, like, oh yeah, everything just changes when you go through this door. Yeah. <laughs> like... And it's, like, worth it. Like, it, it makes... Every area in this game has its own, like, specific atmosphere. Like, yeah. this looks so different than, like, Dark Root Basin. Yeah. Like, one, you have this, like, mystical forest with, like, lights in the distance and everything's very, like, depth of field. And then here you just have this horrible, sickly, black, green, like, yeah. game of wood. Yeah. Man, I love the Dark Root Garden. It's so cool. It's so, it's so it's such a small area, but just the feel of it is immediately perfect. Yeah, it's so, like, whimsical. I love it. Yeah. Oh, come on, I pressed parry. 
Dodge back, please. Dodge, parry, block. <laughs> parry, thrust! <laughs> I press parry, darn it! Yeah. Need need to need to remember that recovery and everything is you know, actually maybe I'll since I'm gonna be doing a lot of parrying here, I it, might there's, there's try. There's Logan's big hat on the uh, the loading screen. <laughs> I have not yet met Big Hat Logan, but I am looking forward to that. This recovery from this is a lot faster than the. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, a lot faster. Yeah. Like the Black Knight uh, sword does so much damage, but it's there's not really a lot of weapons in these games that are like, oh yeah, this is just straight up better. Like. You mm -hmm. always pay for the damage in other ways. In right. Cases. I wonder how easy it would be to try and get back up to the blacksmith. Um, not that it's... Up. No? I'm trying to remember the path. You just have to uh, backtrack to Undead Bird. Um, yeah. Uh, if I recall correctly, you're mostly dealing with hollows and oozes. Yeah, that's right. I dealt with the butcher guys. So it's, and then there's dogs, right? So I'll, yeah. uh, I'll try backtracking to him. I have a couple of, uh, what are those called? So uh, hard so Soft souls? Hard souls? The item version is called a hard soul. Yeah. I have a couple of those that I can use. Because I'd like to level this sword up a little bit. Get it a bit more damage. Um, yes, we manually define each room in Gloom with sound propagation. Yes. I don't know how else you could do it. <laughs> I, I mean, I guess you could you could spend a whole bunch of time writing an algorithm to do it that probably doesn't work half the time. Yeah, so um, I went through quite a few uh, articles and presentations from the people who... Not only the people who wrote Thief's sound propagation system, but the people who they learned how to write that system from. And they talked about a couple different uh, avenues of doing it, like generating an algorithm where it like, searches the space and you define rooms based upon the algorithm. And almost every time that they tried to do that system, it was almost more work to just remove all the false positives. Mm -hmm. um, just because like, there are so many... It, those kind of systems work great if you have like very defined like oh here's a hallway here's a room here's a hallway but in Gloomwood we have a lot, we have like spaces that are like angled rooms that are like broken by broken out with like lots of splintered wood and stuff like that it's mm -hmm. it's just easier to, for me to go in and just you know make a brush say this is a room and then set it up yeah ooh that one has a poke this sword has a pokey attack out of a roll um yeah, it's it's worth mentioning that I think sometimes the uh oh jeez the popular perception is that like things like procedural generation are like oh that's you know devs do that because the, then you don't have to spend time on level design um, which is maybe somewhat true but you don't it's not like there's a lot of time and effort saved because that time and effort instead of doing like bespoke stuff then goes into trying to make the algorithm come up with usable results <laughs> um so usually there's it, it's sort of a um there's no such thing as a free lunch deal where it's like if you decide to do everything bespoke um you know you're gonna spend a whole bunch of time doing that but if you decide to do it algorithmically, well, chances are you're going to spend the same amount of time, or possibly even more, just working on that algorithm. And I would know, because if you've been yes. following Gloomwood long enough, you'd know that it started like that. Yep, started with procedural levels. And they were never very good. <laughs> At some point I was just like, no, 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 this is not nearly as fun as I was hoping it would be. I'm going back to making bespoke levels. So wait, is there a shortcut up here? Oh, that worked weirdly. Um, no, there isn't. Or er, wait, what's over here? What is? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I remember now. 
Yeah, so now you can go back to Firelink and then take yeah. the elevator up to Andre. Yeah. See, this is like, it's way faster to fast travel in like Elden Ring, but I think mm. it's also kind of um, kind of awesome to like have this knowledge of the world of like, oh, I just need to go up here, take the tunnel, take the elevator, and I'm at where I want to go. Yeah, like completely it, agree. It's just like a. Oh, it's, oh, oh it's no, just, no 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 <laughs> oh, no! No, die! <laughs> Where's the buckler? Here. It is. It's just kind of cool oh. that the game uh, really rewards you with your knowledge of the world space and how you've opened it up. Yeah, it's extremely satisfying. This is something, obviously, they could not reasonably do in Elden Ring, because Elden yeah. Ring is enormous, but yeah, I, I think, um, oh, that didn't work. Yeah, you definitely um, couldn't just be like, okay, we're not going to have any fast travel on Elden Ring and, and get the same effect. Like, the world has yeah. to be... It, for Elden Ring, it makes sense for what, how they did it because of, like, the scale, but for this world, it's so, like, tightly compact and layered on top of each other that, uh, it's it's just cool that I that this game did it, is yeah. really what I'm getting at. Elden Ring is definitely an open-world game where I don't think you could strip out fast travel. Um, yeah. I, because I it's do. so... There are open-world games where I think you could. Uh, like, I played a bunch of Oblivion without fast-traveling once, and it was fun. Uh, but I think... I think that, like, um... Elden Ring is one where there's so much of you doing, like, you know, trying different things, and, like, going to a boss and being like, oh, I kind of need this thing, I need to go over here to get that, and, and stuff. I think it would... It wouldn't work at all without the fast travel. If I was to make one decision to change Elden Ring, it probably mm -hmm. would be to make it so you can only fast travel at the Graces. Yes. Um, Agree completely. Because, I wish they had done that. Um, there are definitely situations where I feel like the shortcuts and like cool world interconnectivity is kind of missed because you could just fast travel even when like you're pretty much in danger or in a bad place. Mm -hmm. um, whereas I feel like I think it's fine that you can fast travel anywhere from the graces, but uh, it, it feels a little too freeing. With, yeah, uh, with I've just opening the map and doing it. Yeah, I've kept thinking about that also while playing. It's like, oh, it, it, there's a lot of there's a lot uh, a lot of parts where it would be a little more thrilling and fun if you had to like get to a site of grace to fast travel. Yeah. And some, some of them are a little weird, because it's like, uh, you can, uh, like, some of the more Dark Souls-y levels, like Stormvale and, like, Volcano Manor, where it's like, they clearly have this really strong interlocking shortcut system, but you can totally just bypass it, because, uh, yeah. the fast travel system. And yeah, it like, is very strange. They, they should have made it so, when you're in, like, a, le a legacy dungeon, is what I think what the game calls them, you can't mm -hmm. fast travel, really. Yeah, I, th I think they should have done that. They, I, they seem to err more on the side of, like, just let people blip around wherever they want to. Yeah, which I get. I totally, yeah. like... It's fine. It doesn't yeah. ruin the game. It's definitely a bit of a missed opportunity, though. Yeah, I just, uh... It, it makes me crave uh, the kind of tension you get from, like, this from and this, like, yeah. Bloodborne and stuff. That is that is one of the main things I have missed in Elden Ring, is I remember... I, I did remember in this, like, a lot of, yeah, t tension and, like, when you're, like, in these places and you don't really have a good way to get out of them. Very survival horror -y. Yeah. Why not, like... Yeah, and give large Julian, I told... I totally get that. I, 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 I don't think removing fast travel from Elden Ring would be a good choice. Uh, no. Just because I don't think that the time mounting between places really adds anything to the gameplay in the same way that this game moving between areas adds tension to it. But um, mm -hmm. there, it's just a, I, I kind of want a little bit of that old Dark Souls tension back in some of the uh, yeah underground dungeony areas. I, I mean, it should be noted that like, um, it also like you can exit the game and it saves where you are. And also, you're not that far from a site of grace in a lot of situations. 
Like, yeah. I think they could have, they really could have just made it that you need to be at a site of grace to fast travel, and it wouldn't have affected that much. It just would have made it, you know, so like, if you're in the middle of a catacomb, well, I guess you can't fast travel in a catacomb anyway, but if you're in the middle of, yeah, Stormvale or something, you can't just decide, oh, I'm gonna go whoop, out there, you would have to actually find, you, you know, backtrack to a site of grace or something. Yeah, like, I would use, like, one of the elevator shortcuts they have in Stormvale. Yeah, because they have some really cool shortcuts. Um, and also, you haven't done the, um, oh, what are they called? The the area under the capital. You haven't you haven't oh, explored that at all. Okay, well, there's, um, first of all, there's a really interesting catacomb in there that you should do, and I, I don't want to say anything about it to spoil it, but it's very odd. Um, and also, that area is filled with a whole bunch of cool shortcuts. Uh, like, it all, it loops back on itself a bunch of times, and there's kind of not a reason to. Uh, it's, yeah, it's odd. Yeah. Um, I, I almost feel like maybe at some point in development it was more restrictive, but mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, Definitely could be. What is my durability? Oh, I don't need to repair for, that. For some areas they do do that, like uh, Lake, Lake of Rot is a great example of, a, of an area that uh, <laughs> it just, it, it really goes all in on the you're fucking stuck here and there's nothing you can do approach. Oh, I have not explored, the, I don't even know how to begin exploring that. Because I step into it and I immediately start getting like Scarlet yeah. Rot, just like, well, I guess I'll come back here someday. <laughs> okay, this was not a very productive. Um, don't I? Hold on. You were trying to upgrade um, your weapon, right? Yeah, I did. I could only do it once. What was that? The embers. What were those for? That was for. Modify? No. Reinf right, yeah, the embers uh, are is modified because you you need a weapon to be over okay. plus or plus five or higher in order to That's um, right. imbue it. Okay. Yeah. Did you you did you upgrade your um, longsword? I did. I, I could only do it okay. once, so which is fine. I just wanted to, you know, use whatever I had. Now we get to go back. This is such a cool game. Like, I love I love this. I love what I've played of this so far. And I also love Elden Ring. In, like, different but similar ways. It's very strange. I guess it's kind of similar to how I love all the Do Doom games, and even the ones that are like, I love Doom 3 and Doom 1 and 2 and Doom Eternal, and all these are all very different games <laughs> with some common ideas. NPCs that fly you to new areas. That's a thing? There we go, Firelink. Oh, I should talk to this guy and see if he has any other. Because now I can attune two spells. I'll see if he has anything uh, else that I want to buy. This tree is so neat. Well, there's a couple points in Elden Ring where an NPC will take you to a new area, like the volcano serpent girl. Oh, hello. Oh, mm, yeah. As always. Uh, purchase. Wait, modify equipment? Oh, he can upgrade him. Interesting. Combustion. You said that was basically useless, right? Um, it's just close range. That's, uh, I, I figured it, having a sword means you probably wouldn't want to use pirate yeah. in close range, but, I mean, it's, it's, what is it, 500 souls? It's not a yeah. huge deal if you buy it. It doesn't, like, imbue your, or put it on your weapon or anything, right? No. Okay. Is this the... The, the only pyromancy spells, or just the only ones he sells? Only one he sells. Okay. Uh, let's see. Boost defense. Maybe I'll... Uh, not equipment, items. Maybe I'll use another soul to get the defense one. Just have a tool to use. It doesn't say how much it gives. Oh, I'll use this. I 
think that's what I need. Yes. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, please, as always. So, yeah, okay, what do we have here? Uh, I have to increase defense and resilience. Resilience uh, would be, like, poison and stuff like that, right? Like, so if I use these, I'd be more resistant to poison, is that correct? More resistant to damage, in general. Oh, it says resilience, though, isn't that... No, um, that's resistance. Um, I think... Okay, alright. What is this? Sweating. In incen intense sweating reduces flame damage. <laughs> that's just weird. That's um, funny. Yeah, I'll take this. I don't know if it'll be useful at all, but Goodbye. might as well get it. What you know about that? Oh, you're interested in Luna Acid? Wait, no, I wanna... No, I want that to be that. How do I... I have to... Oh, there we go. I just go over. Um, I haven't played Lunacid because I am waiting for it to fully release. Uh, but it's a Kira game, so I assume it's awesome. Oh, look, the... Cr I see, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I'm waiting for Lunacid to um, get a little further in development before trying it. Yeah. I will be right back. Alright. Hi! Oh, not hi. Okay, there we go. A wise choice, stranger. Man, has there ever been a, like, cooler merchant character than the Resident Evil 4 merchant? He just has so much personality. Patches? <laughs> Is Patches cool, though? I mean, Patches is kind of... kind of a... an asshole. Not even... not kind of an asshole. He's completely an asshole. What am I saying? A cool asshole. Oh, that's fair. I feel like the like if you put the Resident Evil 4 merchant and patches together in a room and we're like fight to the death, like the Resident Evil 4 merchant would would a hundred percent win. Oh come on, I did the attacker. Clunky ass game. You get sliced, and you get sliced, and you get sliced. Bees! Go to the cartel. <laughs> I could believe it. Drebin? I don't actually know who Drebin is, I don't think. So is Patches, um, is he a recurring character, or is he just an El Elden Ring? Like, has he been in other... Oh no, I haven't played, uh, MGS4 yet. I've only played 1 through 3. He's in every FromSoft game, really? Okay, that's pretty cool. So these guys, you said drop... 
thingies. Sometimes. Let's beat them down. At least one of them drops. Oh, there we go. Green Titanite Shard. Okay. I don't know what I'll use that for, but I'm assuming it's going to be useful. Pirating a mech is for. Mm, I don't know. I think that's a stretch. Lightning upgrade. Ooh, really? There we go. It's Vorf the. Mm, I don't know. You might have a case there. That's that's fair. The mecha's intelligent. I guess. I guess. I'm not gonna say you're right, but you do have you have an argument to make. I think. I do have to get to bed at a decent hour tonight because I need to get up early tomorrow. Ah, that's not what I meant to do. No, don't lock up to that. What are you doing? <laughs> you attack the rat, not the wall! <laughs> oh my gosh, if I get poisoned from there, we go. All right, to Blight Town. Yeah, the lock-on uh, in Elden Ring feels much, much more reliable than in this, where it's uh, interesting, to say the least. Oh, come on, I meant to... Why can I not? Oh, probably because I'm on a slope, right? Ow. Ow! Sheesh! Lock on is a trap. I could see it. <laughs> it's, yeah, the wall drums. Still doesn't do much damage to those guys. I wonder if they're weak to fire. I could try... Try out my pyromancy. That way. Don't give up. I will not give up. Yeah, I, re I remember. Uh, I remember that was a thing. Like Blight Town ran at like like negative FPS on consoles. What do you sell again? I can't remember. Oh, he sells, uh, some armor. He sells gold pine resin. Hmm. Wonder if that implies that things in here are weak to lightning. again. Let's see if I can actually get a... There we go. There! That's what we want. That's not what we want. Shouldn't have gotten greedy there. There's that. Oh, do dragons have a lightning weakness? Dump. 
Okay, what are those? Turns out to be toxic, but also affects player. Okay. Am I wearing the thing that... Yeah, 31 poison resistance. I think that's the one that has the best poison resistance. And then I might... <sighs> Maybe I do want to switch to the spider shield. And I'll just have to... I'll have to be better. What's the... I'll just have to be a bit better with parrying. So yeah, I can still parry with this. But... Oh yeah, it's it's pretty lenient, you're right. I really like how how methodical the combat is in this. Yeah, let's see if Okay, Dylan hasn't said anything. Just want to make sure Dylan hasn't died or <laughs> something. I'm... yeah, I mean, come on, you guys know me. There's a very... there's a very strong chance that I'll like Dark Souls 2 just because it's the weird one that does weird things, and I, I like weird things. Let's see how pyromancy works on these guys. That's not the button I meant to press, okay. Eh, it does something. <laughs> he just keeps roaring! Oh, that was a flinch. Okay, that does do physical pr enough physical protection against their swing. So that's good. Oh man, that's a <laughs> that would be a real good one. Dark Souls 2 is better than Fallout New Vegas. Yeah, that I mean, I'm. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna s start moving away from the New Vegas tweets. Um, I don't think there's there's funny for people anymore. Like, um, like I think it's starting to get old for people. So I'll I'll probably probably stop making that a thing. Oh wow, that is so lenient! Holy crap! I I am back. Hi. I am using the spider shield. Good, it turns good. out the yeah, the parry timing in this is like super lenient. Yeah. And I am toxic. Oh great. Um, remember that you do have those uh the purple um Yeah mosses that the the blooming ones will remove toxin. Oh, okay. I only have one. Uh I'm gonna use it. Where is it? Hurry! Ah! There. Hurry and use it! There we go. Okay, so I should probably put some of those on my belt, huh? Yeah, probably. Purple moss on the belt. <clears throat> Looks like I missed uh, Armored Core. How? As oh, the for game. <sighs> oh, yeah. Well. You kind of did just stand there and take those darts yep. to the face. Ow! 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 He fires so fast! Holy! Oh. Holy crap! Yep. Why though? Oh. <laughs> someone, me someone in chat said, "I can't wait for the uh, Dark Souls 2 is better than Fallout New Vegas tweets." Oh. <laughs> Which I'm like, oh, that'd be really good, but at the same time, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try and move away from the uh, 
New Vegas joke just because I think it's getting old for people. Yeah, I like how we had to move away from the, the, the Doom 3 shotgun jokes. Yeah. I mean, honestly, Doom 3 shotgun really was... It, 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 w it was only, like, a thing for a little bit. Like, I feel like New Vegas has been a thing for longer. Like, I've done multiple tweets that, you know, caused a shitstorm for okay, New Vegas. The one where you left it out was amazing. I love it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, the pole one. Yeah. I yeah. just stole that idea from Puppet Combo also. Because he did it... <laughs> And, and mine ended up doing way better, because his was about Silent Hill. Um, and the New Vegas fans were way madder than Silent Hill fans. So funny. Yeah. Um, the good news about the Toxin Dark Guys is, uh, unlike most enemies, they do not respawn. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it's the one one mercy that Blight Town yeah. gives you. <laughs> Jeez, that that window is so lenient. I should just be parrying everything. I don't even need the buckler. There we go. I was not. Oh no, he's not dead. There we go. I was not anticipating the um, uh, David the Perry King, arc. Yeah. <laughs> well, for now, I'm sure we'll, we'll see how it goes. But like, just because the timing is so much more lenient than in in Elden Ring. Where it's like, you actually really have to get the window just right. It's just, yeah, it's funny. Like, yeah. you went from not being a From Software fan, or not like a, you weren't, you liked their games, but you weren't like, you know, a, a fan fan. Um, yeah. Like, a month ago to, I'm gonna fucking parry everything in Dark Souls 1. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the, uh... The pipeline, I guess. <laughs> yep, there we go. Oh, that's <laughs> that wasn't a backstab. That was like a colonoscopy. <laughs> a colonoscopy. <laughs> Fan fans are the word. <laughs> I feel like Silent Hill fans are too busy, like thinking that they're getting a sequel every month or so to yeah. like care about anything else or or hope or um memorializing uh pt oh jeez <laughs> that's the one I, c I, c I could start a thing about how i think pt is overrated but oh no let me out let me out let me out uh, he just wants to give you a kiss yeah I, I feel kind of bad because Airdorf is a huge uh, PT fan. Um, See, you're, you're like, oh, you know, I feel kind of bad because Airdorf is a PT fan. But I swear, Hakita, like, every meeting where he talks about what movies he likes, Hakita just comes straight out with, like, wow, your fucking taste in movies is trash. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Man, these guys roar a lot. Like, they just keep roaring over and over. Oh, I missed that parry. So, I missed that one too. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that, uh, they, they are set up the same way that I've currently just set up the, uh, one of the enemies in, um, in Gloomwood, where, like, it's one of their attacks that they can do when you're out of range. Mm -hmm. And so, like, <laughs> sometimes instead of doing an attack, they just pick roar at roar at you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, damn, damn, he roll caught you. Yeah, he did. So um, this ogre's like PvP master. Yeah, yeah Hakida is uh he's 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 a bit uh acidic with some things. <laughs> he's he's a firebrand. Yeah. I wish this sword did more damage. I could get the Oh, wait, I can't. You know what? Actually, we're gonna... I wonder if I can get through here. Because I want to kill this guy as quickly as possible. Oh, you didn't kill this guy last time. No, year. he fell off. Oh, what? Blocking does attack. not do anything with that. Okay, no. good to know. Grab attacks, it, and that counts for every... Oh, fall damage. Dang it. Yes. Um... That counts for, 
Elden Ring too. You can't block a grab attack. Okay. What movies does Hakida like? Also to like artsy hipstery movies. Uh, well, the um, yeah, Hakida really loves uh, a lot of avant-garde. Yeah, I mean, I'm not. I'm, I, I can't really talk. I guess like my favorite movie is Blue Velvet. <laughs> but yeah, it's exactly what you would expect. Knowing him, I mean, if you're if you're the guy who makes the most money, like he can like whatever he wants. Yeah. Yeah. Like there's <laughs> so many things where it's like we can't criticize Hakida for this because he can back it up because he made Ultra Kill. Yeah, Dylan's in voice. Yes, Heineken. New oh yeah, there's a new Cronenberg movie. Did anyone see, uh, I know that this is a different Cronenberg, uh, this is Cronenberg Jr., but did anyone see, um, Possessor? I heard it was, no. I heard it was good, but I, I haven't seen it. It's like he, he like roared like three times in a row. Oh jeez. <laughs> like down. <laughs> That is that is the uh, the blight town experience. Just yep. Oh yep. Um, mess up, mess, to, mess up two parries in a row and then roll off the side of them. Yeah. <laughs> Since I'm not actually using rolling that much, I'm gonna I'm gonna try switching back to this for the damage. We'll see how it goes. Um. Yeah. Uh. Butt Satan. <laughs> I thank you for making me say that name. Um. Yeah, that's it's really funny watching Dylan. If you see, you've seen Blue Velvet, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's really funny watching that movie for the first time because you get through the first like I don't know twenty minutes or so, and you're like, oh, this is just a you know a slightly quirky Twin Peaks esque you know, movie. Um, and there's like it, there's a specific timestamp almost where it changes from slightly quirky Twin Peaks-esque uh, mystery into Blue Velvet. <laughs> and it's, it's yeah. like, it's exactly what, it's when Frank comes in. And it's really funny watching, like, if anyone you know is, like, watching that, uh, and, like, tweeting about it or messaging you about it or whatever, it's really funny, because you can, like, almost set a timer down to when they're gonna be like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, it's a great movie to make your friends watch who have never seen yeah. it, because it's like, you're, you're in the know until that moment happens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's such an uncomfortable scene, and you, like, you don't expect it for a movie made, uh, like, made in that time. Like, you know, movies in the 70s and 80s and stuff definitely could have uncomfortable scenes. Uh, but it's just the sort of thing you don't expect from some from a movie like that, especially with the way it starts out. Um, you don't expect it to go full like uh, Dennis Hopper dry humping, <laughs> you know, well, with his muffs and mouth stuffed full of velvet. Yeah. And the craziest part is that David Lynch originally wanted him to be like, oh, that didn't stagger him. Shoot be smoking helium, or not smoking, but like, uh, breathing in helium, so that his voice was really high-pitched. Which makes sense with the whole, like, you know, baby role-playing, but that would have been so much even more messed up. Yeah. <laughs> I, just, I really wish, and apparently uh, Dennis Hopper talked, not talked him out of it, but um, was like, ah, oh, that doesn't make any sense. What if he's, uh, what if he's breathing, I don't remember what the drug was. Some other some other drug that Dennis Hopper was familiar with. Oh that oh that wasn't a grab. They they were both grabs. Uh you were just just out of the hitbox. Oh, you. okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've never actually seen uh Quantum Leap. But yeah, Dean oh Dean Stockwell was so good in that. That scene is a just the best. He's so suave. That's going to be a grab, right? Yeah. There we go. Yeah, it's a it's a very easy attack to dodge. You just need to like see it coming. Yeah. 
Wait, the... Like, the dude who played Archer as a, um... What is that guy in his name? Like, the voice actor? Is that who you mean? He was in Quantum Leap? Is it something Benjamin's? Or s oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, that's... Th he doesn't seem that old. <laughs> You've almost made it to the, the first bonfire of this hellish zone. Yeah, I've almost made it into actual Blight Town. Oh, this, these bridges are so good. By good, do you mean? <laughs> what? Yeah, if you don't die here, watch what happens. Okay. There. Oh dear. Oh! <laughs> Oh, the yeah, color changed again. Yeah, I think you're entering the outer light town. Yeah, they yeah. made these bridges just like roll back and forth when you run across them. Yeah. That's so good. <laughs> they knew exactly what they were doing. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> the collision that was... How far am I in the game? Well, I'm at Blight Town, so... Uh... However far that is. So years ago, um, damn, that was a nice fairy. Um, Thank you. Years ago, uh, when this game was still kind of not new, but like it, it was really taking off. Oh, from? <laughs> are you serious? From? <laughs> <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Such a from. Oh no! Movie. What's that? That's a dog. Okay. Okay. It's just a little little dog. So a couple years ago when this game ah. was really starting to take off and people would argue about it all the time on Twitter as they <laughs> you know, still do um, One of the common arguments was Blight Town sucks because it's a poorly designed level. It's like super confusing super like you know, this, I mean you can't really argue this place is kind of a fucking nightmare. Yes! And, <laughs> I don't but, like this! I don't like this! <laughs> I know. It's very good. <laughs> I used to argue back that I think this is this area is fucking hilarious because like clearly oh. this is like a town <clears throat> that's like Oh god. Yeah, I got greedy. That, that's designed by the, these, like, weird fucking dudes who are clearly, like, barely human. They're, like, some weird demi-humans. Mm -hmm. And when you really think about it, yeah, if you're gonna build a fucking town on the side that's, like, scaffolding over a poison swamp, it's probably gonna look like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's probably gonna look like a fucked up conjoined mesh of, like, millions of planks and shacks and stuff. Just because, like, those, yeah. those, you really have to think that those are the dudes who built it. Those are the weird, like, creatures that put this whole town together. Like, oh, yeah. yeah we, got my, oh, we got my ogre buddies to put, like, the shacks <laughs> together. <laughs> yeah. That's a funny way to look at it. Yeah. Yeah. Also, confusing and, and evil is not, does not equal bad. Yeah. I feel I mean, like that happens too much in video game discourse where it's like, ah, this level was confused me and made me feel uncomfortable therefore it's bad like look at this do you don't, is this supposed to make you feel comfortable this is like a this is like a horror you know this is like a horror haunted house this is supposed to feel uncomfortable for all the um the people who you know said like this level was fucking terrible it's the worst thing ever everyone remembers their first time through blight town like yeah this this level is like infinitely memorable and always stirs up like people's emotions when they talk about this game. Yeah. Now, I will say being memorable does not necessarily equal good because the library is also memorable, but the library is completely awful. It is one of the worst levels ever made. <laughs> well, I won't go that. Far. I'm sure I'm sure somebody making like a you know, someone someone making some shareware Wolfenstein 3D clone in the 90s has made worse levels, but for a 
triple A game from the 2000s, the library is like one of the worst, if not the worst. I, I think this level works <clears throat> despite being so harsh because uh, it, it sort of emphasizes the principles that this game is sort of based upon. It's, yeah. it's very much like this game is meant to be hostile and cheeky and uh, just rough in general. And this this level is like, okay, we're we've shown you like us at with you know a hand behind our back. Now we're going to give you full force. Like, <laughs> I keep missing the parries. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's a pancake. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't think Cortana is worse because Cortana, um, in in Halo Three, because like one of the worst things about the library is how long it is and how repetitive it is. And I wouldn't like I, I know you like Cortana, right, uh, Dylan? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't say I liked it that much, but I didn't hate it. It yeah, was I'm not, just I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna put it on like one of my favorite levels. Or whatever but yeah uh, i didn't think it was one of the best parts in in the game but the library i i genuinely think that's one of oh my gosh this is huge like i i i'm not even exaggerating when i think i think that's one of the worst levels that's ever been made in a game of that caliber it is just so um bafflingly bad it is too, way, way too long. Um, it's like three or four times the length it needs to be. It is nothing but the same few things repeated over and over again. And the encounters it does are... I actually like fighting the Flood in, in Halo 1. I... Like, I don't, I don't mind... F oh, that wasn't... I don't mind the Flood as an enemy. Uh, but... I don't think they're used well in the library. Okay, that did not pancake him. He's a big guy, though. Yeah, I don't think you can pancake the big guys. Yeah. Actually, it does pretty good damage. I should probably heal. If you ever get invaded by someone who's carrying one of these, like, big... Oh! <laughs> I meant to roll forward! <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, what were you saying? Invaded, if you ever get invaded by someone who has like a big club, uh, prepare prepare for a bad time because I I don't know why, but universally people who use shitty weapons or shitty looking weapons like big clubs mm -hmm. probably are doing it because they know the move set super well. Oh no! <laughs> are very good at using it. Sheesh! Wow, that hollow. It's extremely rude. Oh no, 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 this is not how I imagined this going at all. <laughs> Stop! I'm just trying to hit you with my club! <laughs> oh, come on! Uh, hi, hi, uh, Corv. Corv. Corvness? I don't know. Hi! Um, two betray. That's the, uh, snow one, right? Two betrayals in Halo. Um,. Yeah, that one, I I like the atmosphere of the uh, uh, outside, and I like kind of the, the sc scale of it, but I, it suffers from the exact same thing as almost every level in, in Combat Evolved, which is just that it's, like, way, way too repetitive. Just repeating whole room layouts over and over again. Um, that's... I, I like Combat Evolved. I think it's a really good, like, it's a really good playing FPS, uh, but I think, I've always thought the level design brought it down a lot, because the level design is good in some cases. I think the exteriors are mostly pretty interesting. Um, I know a lot of people really love, um, uh, what is that one? Uh, Silent Cartographer. That's a pretty good level. Silent Cartographer is good. Like, it's got, it's got some some decent levels in it, but it has a lot of really, really bad levels. Also, um, I, I didn't say the large club was bad. I said it was shitty looking, as in yeah. there's definitely a large subset and it, I, actually, I think most players do this. A large group of players who will pick weapons based upon how cool they look. Mm -hmm. And 
giant club is usually not in that category of commonly picked weapons because of how it looks. Oh, wait, Which I can't use Which means Crap. that the people who are using it probably are using it because it's really good, and thus <laughs> they know the move set and how it works really well. Yeah, this is... Oh no, there was another guy! <laughs> Okay, this is not going well. No, I think I think I'm gonna have to switch back to the oh, you to the sword. Yet. No, not yet. Uh, Corv Corvinus. Okay, gotcha. Yes, I did get I did get my a my ass ate by it. That's a weird turn of phrase for what happened. I got my ass beaten by a torch hollow. I don't know about eight. Claymore. Yeah, everyone loves the Claymore. I want to get that. You said that's in Blight Town, right? Or no, no, no. I'm sorry. You said that was the dragon. The bridge yeah. dragon. I wonder if I could deal with the bridge dragon right now. Well, okay. So I don't go back there and waste a bunch of time on the stream. Can I deal with the bridge dragon right now? Um, I don't even... To get the claymore, you don't even have to kill him. You just have to run past the okay. fire. Well, let's go. Oh no, Torch Hollow! The most dangerous enemies in the game. Yeah. Sweep. Actually, uh, last night I got uh, the giant's giant slayer hammer mm -hmm. in Elven Ring. And that sounds that pretty has, cool. That has the funniest R2 I've ever seen for a hammer in these games. Yeah. You you literally... So you, you slam it on the ground, but that's not the attack. That's you preparing for the attack. Oh, so no. So you, you slam it down, and then your character pole vaults over it using the, the stick, and then brings it over your head and then that's the attack. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. It's um it's the most like animation I've ever seen. I'll have to I'll have to record it. It's so funny. Where did the dog go? Oh there it is. Yeah I um, wanna that see is, that. That is the uh let me pull up the name, make sure I'm saying the right one. Okay, it's uh, the giant crusher, and uh, it's in the uh, the capital outskirts. But it's I'm, it's one of the heaviest weapons in the game. It's like almost thirty weight. It's crazy. Oh jeez. Um, but the attacks are so funny. Die. Oh, I forgot, that's not a quick stab, that's a... I was gonna do a stab to be stylish, and I forgot that it has this really long wind-up. God, it does a lot of damage for that yeah. one-handed attack, though. Yeah. I think it's cool that, like, it's... The the moveset is based upon the the enemies that use it. Like, that, that, um... That stab you just did is the stab the Black Knights who use this weapon use all the time. Yeah. Okay, so we need to get back to... let's see... Good night, Casey. Enjoy your Korean zombie shows. Oh yeah, see you, Casey. Korean zombie shows. What would those be? I don't know. Huh. Oh, okay, so... Uh, my brother Johnny, um, has never played, a uh, Souls game, but he has played Monster Hunter, and I have played, you know, Souls games, uh, well, this and Elden Ring, and I have never played Monster Hunter, but it sounds like the, the combat is kind of similar in terms of, like, the... Uh, the weight of your of animations and stuff, and how you know everything's kind of slow. Anyone, someone yeah. who's played both, is that accurate? I have played both. Okay. Um, 
And yeah, there is, especially if you use like really big weapons, yeah, you definitely have to like plan around the swings and your like long enemy swings. Um, the combat loop for both these games is vastly different though. Okay. Um, just the, the boss fights are, uh, I guess, I guess there's an element, the animation oriented, the animation sort of like way you deal with enemies is similar, but, um, God, Monster Hunter boss fights can take a long time. Yeah, jo like a full group. Johnny said they're pretty, uh, tanky. Yeah. More tanky, whereas this is, uh, this is more like glass cannon. I'm actually surprised Johnny hasn't played this, because he, he's a huge Resident Evil remake fan, right? Yes. Um, um, he probably would really like these games, then. Like, I, like you would one. think... Yeah, Johnny <laughs> is like me, where he has very specific and strong opinions about things, so it's sort of a toss-up. Um, but I, I would think he would like them. I suggested that he try Elden Ring, at least. Uh, uh, Evan has say. played... Evan has played some of this. He played up to the Bell Gargoyles, I think he said. Um... And just couldn't figure out how he could possibly deal with them. But he said he really liked it up to that point. <laughs> so. <laughs> Evan's a big uh, character act. Well, not a big, but he likes character action games a lot. Yeah. Um, I was going to say um, that Johnny probably would like this one more than Elden Ring just because of the, the pacing and the sh shortcut. He might. Orientation of it. Yeah, I think with, um, I don't know, it's hard to know, like, it, it, very similar to me, where it's like, it's some, why did I go back here? This isn't where I need to go. Um, or I could check out what that green smithing stone does, though, see if we can use it, but, uh, that could very well be, yeah, I was suggesting Elden Ring because he quite liked Breath of the Wild, and he also likes the that newest Pokemon game, which looked very similar to <laughs> Breath of the Wild and this, to me. Um, oh, it's a different one later. Okay. Feels almost more turn-based. Huh. Yeah, Monster Hunter never really appealed to me because it seemed basically like a boss rush game. Uh, but maybe I should give it a try. This is going to be an extremely weird uh, game to compare it to, but it's part of it is almost kind of feels like uh, you know how you start when you play Hunt. There's that whole segment of like trying to uh, figure out where the boss is and yeah kind of like narrowing narrowing it down a bunch of the game is like that and then once you find the boss it'll, a bunch of it is planning how you're going to be taking it down okay I mean, that could be interesting i might like that i don't know okay so wait where am i trying to go what a oh the dragon dragon on the bridge yeah. which is back this way so let's see how i do with this against these guys oh i don't need the spider shield anymore um, or for right now, because it's mostly for poison. Let's see how I do here. There's that. There's that. Borderlands. What? Okay, so what is the appeal of Borderlands? Um, I've God. tried playing the first game twice, and some I had fun sometimes, but then I don't know. I've played um, through the first and second game with my friends, and the uh, mm -hmm. only appeal is that uh, you're playing it with your friends. Okay. Because <laughs> like as a shooter, it's kind of fun when your weapons are overpowered. Like when they're when they're more powerful than the enemies you're f or than it expects you to than it expects them to be, it's like it feels okay. But then 
when they're not, it feels like garbage, and as a loot grind, it's like really underwhelming because all you ever find are this are boring things. Um, unlike like Diablo 2, which is my like my gold standard for loot grinds, I guess. Uh, where you're constantly finding all sorts of different interesting stuff, even if your character can't use it, it's just, you know. I mean, yeah, I think the the appeal is like, oh yeah, it's like we took the the um the looting system from Diablo and similar games to a first person shooter, even if it's not very good at doing that. Yeah. And no, obviously it's like, crap, and you can crap, play with crap. different. I I've tried playing Borderlands, uh solo just to like get a character up to where my friends were and uh i did not enjoy it <laughs> I yeah did didn't find it very fun yeah i tried pl like i i will say though like parts where i had um like the guns were overpowered and i was just sort of going around killing a bunch of stuff and jumping over enemies with the enormous halo jump on stuff. It was like, oh, okay, this is fun. Um, but then that would stop. And I would be doing, like, zero damage to enemies. And... Yeah. Now, like, there's, there's a lot of, like, multiplayer cooperative games now that I think are that I personally like more than playing Borderlands. Like, when, when I'm getting, you know, Allie and uh, Eric and, and you and stuff like that together, uh, mm -hmm. The kind of stuff I like is like Vermintide and a GTFO and whatnot. I think those yeah. are really more fun in terms Just, of like cooperating this... and stuff. Yeah, GTFO is really fun. Does this guy respawn up here? No, he does not. Okay. So, um, the way you're going to want to do this part is you're going to want to go through the little rat area. Yeah. Get to like the, the up to the bridge through the center. Mm hmm. And then you're gonna let the dragon breathe fire, and then once he's done breathing the fire, then run to the area under him. Okay. Oh, shoot. Should not have been looking at chat. The rats uh, capitalized on your weakness. Jeez, oh, they're, s they're so deadly. Okay, where is the bonfire? It's back here. Yeah, you're almost there. Actually, at it. so I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna waste, uh... Oh, come on, his shield was up! He was... Oh, does it still... Uh, spears can, um... Oh, wow, that killed you. Yeah, cause the, cause the poison. Spears and rapiers are two weapons where enemies and you can attack while your shield is up. Oh, I see. Okay. So if you equip your rapier and you you have a shield out, you can block an attack at the same time. That seems powerful. Okay, I'll try that. So like hold up block and then press attack. Oh, okay. Yeah, so spears and rapiers can do that. Oh, fire. Um, is that only in this game, or did they keep that? Nope, that's that's in uh, ah. Elden Ring as well. Oh, I didn't know that. Our wait a second, our um, thrusting swords the same as a rapier, or is that its own thing? Mm, uh, I there's like that heavy thrusting sword category. Yeah, I that's the one I'm thinking I, of. I don't know if it counts for them. I haven't really played with that many big thrusting swords in that game. Okay. There's that one really cool corkscrew blood one um, that I like. I was wondering if I could do it with that. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't. Um, maybe someone who has used the heavy thrusting swords will chime in. Um, I know I have one in my inventory, but I don't use them very often. You, you can, can do the block. The block Ooh, I'm gonna nice. try that then. I love that sword. Like just how it looks is so cool. Also, its um, its weapon art is really fun. Uh, it's a uh, it, it's like a dodge backwards. Like you like swoosh backwards, and then if you press heavy attack, you do a thrust Wait, David, forward. Don't, yeah. 
Don't go this way. This way is not yeah, the way you want to go. Yeah, I'm stream brain. Why aren't I using the black knight? I don't know. I, I just kind of want to use this. Yeah, I'm going the completely wrong way. Risk of Rain 2. I think uh, Johnny really liked that game. Or did he not? I can't remember. He played it. He played a bunch of it. Yeah, either liked it or he hated it. Well, <clears throat> it's sometimes uh, hard to know because he'll you missed, he'll. You missed the entrance. Say what? You're trying to you're trying to go to the bridge with the dragon, right? Yeah. Oh, I should I go we... through Undeadburg? Um, what's the fastest way to do this? Um, yeah, you can probably just go to. Go to the bonfire that's under the tower and pick the ladder up. Oh, I forgot about that shortcut. Yeah, yeah. that's right. That'll work. Double heavy thrusting swords is really fun also. Yeah. I didn't even... That's so funny. I didn't even know... I haven't tried that moveset, but that sounds really funny. <laughs> it's pretty funny. It's just sort of like a mining drill with legs. Oh, that was not a knife, that was a bomb. Okay, ooh, hello. He tried. Yeah. Did I ever jump over there? No, um... I should do that. I have to get up there, um, which... I know, I know how to get there, but you should sit at the bonfire, so if you die, you don't have to go all the way back to Firelink. True. I would say, no, nah, I'm not gonna die, but this is oh, Dark that Souls. Has been historically completely inaccurate. <laughs> Case in point! <laughs> Considering everything that's happened. Yeah. This is com totally a game where you're like, oh, these lower level enemies aren't going to kill me, and then you are killed by them. There we go. And there's that. I wonder if that merchant down there sells anything I'd be interested in. Poke, poke, poke. He's going full Elden Ring, someone stop him. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's dangerous in this game. Um, so I've rested at the bonfire. I do want to go get whatever that item is. That's. Oh, there was... Was that the... Oh yeah, there's, there's that. <laughs> that's a cool attack. The rapier is really fun. I don't know. Maybe. Well, the rapier is a dex weapon, right? Yeah. Yeah. Not really doing a dexterity build. So. Uh, let's see. How do I go down there? Oh, no. I have to um, go this way, don't I? So I think, um, if I recall correctly, there is a spot you can roll off to yeah, go to that merchant that you were talking about yeah i think i think i can get down through these doors here can't i hi merchant oh still keeping it and go ahead never hurt <laughs> what do you have Pair of, hold on i hear footsteps what a yeah because you, <laughs> you didn't kill those enemies yeah i sort of thought they'd just stay up there oh they are staying up there okay i think we're okay oh you again i hope you've brought plenty of sun <laughs> What do you have? Repair a throwing knife. Actually, I think I want a couple of those for finishing off. I can grab like oh, I can't come back here easily. What do you think? Twenty of them? Twenty sounds fine. Yeah, that should be good. Just for like finishing things off. Uh, opens residences. Oh, okay. I could have grab that or yeah the, I, if I didn't have the master key I could grab this right Is yeah that, okay scimitar 
interesting. <sighs> Excuse me. What time is it? Oh, yeah, in about a half an hour here, we're gonna head off. Uh, stuff? Okay, that should be good. Thank you kindly. <laughs> So, to get up to that area, take a left here. Instead of going up the stairs, you'll you'll go down this little hallway to the left. Yeah. This is a cool hallway. This, this looks... Do you... Does anyone know anything about, like, the tools they used for designing these levels? I have no idea. Um, this hallway is right over uh, Lower Undeadburg, though. Like all that that yeah. the fire that that you're seeing, that's yeah. Like when you're looking down, that's uh -huh. all of the area that you were fighting in uh, oh, with that's the dogs cool. and the bandits. Huh. That's neat. Yeah. Everything's layered on top of each other in this game. Oh. It's so freaking cool. Yeah. Very vertical. You have the thing that no, I don't. No, fly died in my teeth or nat. Oh, really? Oh, I'm sorry. The worst. Oh yeah. Oh, the repair bot. Yeah, I don't have that. Um, I haven't needed to repair anything yet. Here's the roof. There we go. Oh, <laughs> that gave me some throwing knives, so I should have plenty of throwing knives now. There we go, that was much easier. Oh, I hear fire. Um, no, not down there. Go up here. Wait, there's nothing up here. Ah, here we go. Mm, crossbow, not really something I need. It's okay. Alright, so I tried to open up the map to fast travel, which <laughs> is not what we're gonna do. Be right back, I'm gonna set up another team. Okay, <laughs> yeah, Natalis T. So we're gonna go use this shortcut up here. Just summon torrent, yeah. Oh, some of them have acidic attacks. Okay. Well, how much is it? Let me go look at... I'll kill these guys and get some extra souls. Let me backstab you! Eh. Partial success. Good. Yeah, it's very, very satisfying to get right. Repair box. Yeah, okay, I see. 3,000. Yeah, you told me that. Okay. Don't waste hmm. of time. Go and fall off a cliff. Yeah, I guess I'll come back here. Uh, I'll, I'll come back here and get that repair box before I... Cool castle geometry. He was never bad to begin with. Oh, that's because you haven't seen me try to parry an Elden Ring. Yeah, I could grind for souls up here, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if I'll really need to. We'll see, I guess. Uh, that's to the bridge. It's to the evil rats. Here we go. Here's our 
Oh, there he goes. Yep, 555 pop. Wow. Um, so... <laughs> Yeah, I guess that would be pretty easy to grind. So do you just know this game really well, or have you been playing it recently, or...? <laughs> Probably. Know it really well. Nice. Understandable. I could see it, it very much feels to me <laughs> similar to like Resident Evil, where I could I could see playing through this a bunch and it still being satisfying and fun every time. Come on, dragon, do your thing. There we go. Oh, he didn't do it. Okay. There, that's. Where's the, right here? Okay. Yeah, but people can be a little obsessed over Dark Souls. It's just, there's... I'm not gonna claim, I'm, I'm a newbie, so I'm not gonna claim to know that much about the Souls community, but from what I've seen, it's like, there's these two sides to it, where the one side is like awesome, and the other side is all these, like, really strange gatekeepy people who are less awesome. Okay. Oh, nice. I got- I got flamed! Ah. Yeah, so what you're gonna want to do is run towards the gate with the dragon. The yeah, after he does the flame. Flames. Yeah, I'm getting enough, um, souls to go get the repair box. Oh, okay. Because someone, uh, mentioned that whenever enemies with, what is it, corrosive at or acidic attacks show up, it's probably going to want that to repair weapons with. So I figured I would just grab it while I'm here. Are we talking about uh, the toxic souls community? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's... It's because I've encountered some people who... and just some people and attitudes and stuff that are awesome and fun. And then other people who are really weirdly gatekeepy about stuff. Yeah. That's being funny. like, oh, you haven't truly beaten X unless you've done this, or like... You know, things like that. Um, I actually have watched the uh, Noah, Noah Catbull Gervais video, because I, I like his stuff. Um, and yeah, like, he, he pretty much nails all the... I, I actually thought it was very funny that he he really liked Dark Souls 2 as well. Um, oh, did he? I don't yeah. even know who he is. Um, um, I just... So, he... Oh, he's a very game. funny Maybe. figure. Um, Never he it. does <laughs> game reviews while he travels uh, oh, in his, like, little, oh. little van trailer. He does uh -huh. this, like, series um, where he traveled the, like, the, like, uh... Oh, I hope <laughs> like, the U.S., but, like, all the, all the, like, you know, like the Grand Canyon and uh, the large landscapey parts of the U.S. and talked about like uh, the history of the United States and also comparing it to like the fiction of stuff like Fallout and stuff like that. Okay. It, he does really long form videos about games and um, it's hard to explain why they're appealing, but he just has like a very interesting way of talking about topics, I guess. Okay. Um, so he just did a, a video on this, almost all the Souls games. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the things he talked about was like, oh, I never thought I'd be into these games because every time people talked about them, they were all about like, oh yeah, bro, like these games are so hard. You're not like a real player unless like you're into like Dark Souls. And so he kind of thought, I love, and this is this is a very common sentiment. Is the only appeal of these games is that, like they're difficult, and mm -hmm. um, when you try these games, actually yeah, that's, that's not really the um, that's not really the point. And yeah. Really, what he what he sort of discovered was actually that these games are really flexible, and 
offer you a lot of choice in how you tackle the difficulty. And that's really like the the fun part about these games is yeah. being able to pick, you know, what kind of build you're going to do or how you're going to tackle an enemy. And um, yeah, it, it was just a, it, it, that was only like one part of the video. But of course, the community that, the, as you know, there's a part of this community that is uh, very protective of Dark Souls and always mm -hmm. worried about like, oh, the wrong people are going to get into Dark Souls and they're going to like uh, change the game to suit those people and then th th it's going to be ruined and uh, right. Yeah, I don't, I don't personally ascribe to that mentality. Um, Go back in. Uh, okay, so what is the timing on this? Could also take oh, some armor off right, some okay. faster. So, um, Ophil brought up a really good point. If you wait in the corner for uh, like 20 to 30 seconds, the dragon will like fly to a different part. Mm, okay. And that's that's when you should run. Okay. Yeah, I mean, even so, this wasn't. I, I wouldn't even consider this that toxic. Uh, but I, I remember, like, you know, when I was, admittedly, I was, I was kind of inflammatory where I was like, fighting uh, Margit, and I tweeted that thing about this, like, <laughs> yeah. this is, you know, controversial game design, uh, known as bullshit, and, um, but a bunch, of, there was a bunch of people who were like, oh, if you think this is hard, just wait until, you know, whatever. Like, I feel like the goal... There we go. Okay. Bye, dragon. Uh, there's a claymore. Oh, run, 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 run. There's a, there's a soul. Um. Ooh, bonfire. Uh, oh, this doesn't look good. Oh, okay. You, there we go. Open that, if you open that gate, um... Yeah. Oh. I'll do that also, as soon as I rest here. If you set the bonfire, it'll actually despawn the dragon. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, he's just gone now. Oh, there he goes. Yeah. Hi. You should you should open that uh, the gate. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Um, like I feel like the goalposts kept moving, cause uh, <laughs> I like uh, people are like, oh, just wait until Godric. And then the people are like, oh no, Godric isn't hard, just wait until Redan. And then it's like, oh, Redan's not, just wait until, like, it just keeps moving about what the, the real hard boss is. Uh, but for me, actually, like, Margit was probably the hardest time I've had with a boss so far. I did have a hard time with Redan, but maybe I've just gotten used to having hard times with the bosses now. Uh, I don't know, oh, I thought that guy was alive for a second. Redan is hard as hell unless you're Dave and you play a uh, holy scythe build second two shots. Yeah, he's like, oh, he's not that. I'd, I had a heck of a time with him. It took me, I don't know, 40 or 50 tries or something like that. Like, all of these bosses take me a bunch of tries. It's really funny to see replies from people who are like, oh, yeah, that boss gave me a real hard time. I had to try like five times to beat it. I'm like, wait, seriously? That's what me because. That must mean I really suck. That's fine. I mean, I know I suck at video games. It doesn't bug me. All right, the, let's get the. the uh, there we go. You know claymore. what I actually like uh, way more than all the tweets about gatekeeping and mm -hmm. you're not a true Souls fans is all the uh, the videos that I saw when people like there'd be just people on Twitch posting their videos of, like, them beating Margit for the first time and absolutely losing it because mm -hmm. this is the first time they've played one of these games and you can see they're, like, handshaking when, like, Mar Margit's down to, like, one or two hits and then just, them just, like, fucking jumping up and dancing when they finally get him. And I'm like, yeah. that's the shit that I really like to see. That's, that's like, that's, like, the reason why people really like these games. It's, yeah. It's not the... Yeah, agreed. Uh, that's also been, like, awesome for me, who, uh, you know, I'm not someone who's good at video games, and a lot of these things where I've heard of, like, oh, this super 
tough boss and like a from software game or things i'm like that's obviously something i could never do like uh, i'm not never or i would never be able to defeat that boss and so playing like elden ring and getting past these bosses that i've seen other people also having trouble with is a great feeling for me it's like oh that's all like i beat this boss that other people think is hard that's I don't know, and the legendary status, whether earned or not, of these games being just like super, super difficult, makes it really rewarding to as as someone who kind of sucks at these sort of games. It's really rewarding to then beat those uh, beat those obstacles, just like people who you know normally skilled people. <laughs> I think I know that. Oh, jeez. I think I know that video you're talking about, uh, Dylan, where it's like a uh, a woman streaming it, right? And she beats Margaret and just loses it. She's... She like gets up and starts like jumping up and down, screaming. I fucking love it. Yeah. Oh, I didn't need to go up here. Sure, like to kick. Yeah, because I keep holding forward while attacking. Which I need to stop doing. There we go. Uh, yeah, like, the boss fights are cool in these games, and I think some of them are, like, super cinematic and awesome, and, and I love them. But, uh, I've always been drawn to these games because of the atmosphere and, like, mm -hmm. the interlocking level design. So, the whole, uh, these games are, are something to, like, hold over people as, like, oh, I'm a master of, like, skill has never really been never really been a thing that I've been all that interested in because the elements of these games that I really love are like oh man the like atmosphere of Yarnum is so fucking cool or like the way the shortcut links back to like Firelink fucking blows my mind yeah uh, and it's it's not even really that accurate either because and, and I think I think this is backed up by stuff that like Miyazaki said where they're they're really like from what I've played of this and Elden Ring at least it's they're pretty open to you figuring out ways of like not getting good and and just like cheesing it if that makes sense yeah i almost i almost feel like people forget that it's like it's it's from software that puts in all the stuff like summoning and spirit ashes and yeah oh you don't you have, haven't really played the game if you use summons like they're yeah, like, in the or, game or there are rewards or, yeah like they, they he's clearly gone on record and being like the difficulty of the is not really the point it's kind of just like a it's just part of our process of making the games feel rewarding and, uh, you know, to yeah. build tension and excitement and, you know, get your blood pumping. It's not really, it was, it's just kind of like a byproduct of yeah. all that. And to have the entertaining experience of just getting your teeth kicked in by something yeah. stupid. <laughs> It's very, it's very clearly like also comedic in a way. Like you can't have a giant skeleton kick you off a cliff and it not be super funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I think they're they're really good at giving enough consequence for death that you get that like pain, but not so much that you genuinely get frustrated. Where it's like it, it's enough to just be funny. Like when yeah. you have a whole bunch of souls or runes or whatever, and then some like hollow with a torch or something stun locks you to death and it's stupid and you lose all the souls it's like God. it's funny like i i've had a bunch of these things happen now and i don't think it's ever been frustrating for me or, or made me mad i'm always just like <sighs> like this this is a game where you you can get punched to death by a giant mushroom man like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like there's no way that's not gonna oh. be funny yeah. Ooh, Titanite. Nice. Maybe I can... I wonder if I can go upgrade this Claymore a little bit. Um, oh, wait. Where was the... Oh, I, the blacksmith's back this way. Uh, I should probably go do oh. that before I come back. Someone brought up that, like, a real difficult... If you want real difficulty, go play 90s Japanese bullet hells. We have... We, one of our QA um, team members is, like, super big on bullet hell games, and... Mm -hmm. 
those games are absolutely <laughs> way harder than, than yeah. Dark Souls. There's a... In Elden Ring, at least, I, I don't want to try and speak for all of the FromSoft games, considering I haven't played most of them, but from my experience with Elden Ring, at least, there's, like, this element of um, open problem-solving to it that is extremely appealing to me, where you're, you're not really given... Um, check you're not given a bunch of check boxes to meet in terms of like overcoming things it's more like here's a problem and here's there's a bunch of different tools you can use to figure out how to overcome it yeah and i, I don't i also don't think it's like bad that people also you know abstain from using those tools and no play, definitely like, not oh, like, well i'm not gonna summon or like oh i'm gonna play like a level one build and beat every boss by just sheer knowledge of their moveset. Yeah. I think that stuff is, like, super awesome, too. And I it is. It as well. And people it's who just... do that deserve to be able to have pride in that and be like, yo, I beat, you know, I, I beat uh, Milena with no, you know, no armor, blah, blah, blah. Like, you deserve to be able to brag about that. It's yeah. the whole, it's the, the part where then people are like, oh, well, you haven't really beaten the game if you don't do it this way. That's dumb. <laughs> that's not what that's not what these games are supposed to be, from what I can tell, and it's it's just stupid. I love that story that's going around on Twitter right now of like the legendary like jar pot. That's edit so good, yeah. Who like helps everyone beat that boss? Just like the legend himself has arrived. That I love that so much, yeah. Let, let me solo her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's like stuff like that is the part of the uh, the community element that I think is just so cool, and yeah. I don't know if exists in other games in the same way. It's so funny. I love that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, Zach. I, I do think it's a very loud minority. I, I think that a lot of people who like these games are are actually pretty chill and not crazy. Yeah, I. I, I won't I won't claim to know. I, th I think you probably know way better than me. Um, yes, correct. Poo Blood Interactive. I agree. Uh, it seems like probably a thing where this sort of game is going to attract, on the one hand, people who like getting their teeth kicked in by a game uh, and like that challenge, and those people are probably going to be pretty chill. Like, people who, not not people who like being good at a game, but like a game to be, like, hard and destroying them. But then also you've probably got people who really like uh, having that, some the status symbol of being super good at something, or of having this challenge that's really difficult to overcome, that they've overcome and they can kind of brag about. And I think that's the side that's probably going to be really toxic about it What's and funny the, is that, uh, sorry, yeah go ahead. well i was just like i can see how this sort of game design would attract both extremes in that way um absolutely and what's funny is that a lot of the people who do uh twitch streams of them doing crazy challenge runs like lobos and stuff are actually themselves really chill people and don't really like that uh sentiment the, like toxic mm -hmm. sentiment either they're very welcoming to people joining the community and stuff yeah that's good uh let's, let's see um liar ahead what was the liar ahead thing no that wasn't my tweet that was uh that was hockey to oh yeah like, hockey is, <laughs> yeah, is evil so what he'll do is um uh when when Elden Ring actually starts putting in illusionary walls, when people put uh, hidden passage ahead, he'll back up and put liar ahead, even if it's mm -hmm. a real illusionary wall. <laughs> or says he does. I don't know if he actually does yeah, I mean, that. I don't know, but it, it that, makes for a good that, tweet though. It's totally chaotic evil energy, yeah. and I love it. Thing is, even if so, even if a message says liar ahead, I always check the walls anyway, because why would you not? <laughs> Like, even when it's obviously fake, I just check it just in case, because you're not losing anything, and it might be an illusionary wall. 
There's a couple times where I'll I'll see like a wall that I'm not sure is like an illusionary wall, and I'll see another ghost like trying to bang at the wall. And I'm like, oh, oh, I don't need to hit the wall now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, ghosts are so funny. Brilliant. That's a brilliant design decision to have. Like you you come across a ghost, just like getting picked up in the air by something invisible and throw it away yeah. and you're like, oh no. <laughs> or you see them like whiff a jump and fall to their death and it's like, I just want someone die. It's so funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like this claymore a lot. Yeah, the claymore is uh, it's it's like the Swiss army knife of this game. Yeah. It's, it's, it's... so good in so many situations. <sighs> That's, that that yeah. was weird. Oh, <laughs> uh, Wool Wooly is fun to watch. He did um he did the Bloodborne run. Uh, oh, like uh ago. Super Best Friends Wooly. Oh, was that okay? Sorry, never. Mind. I was thinking of a different Wooly. Is that uh, who we're talking about? Oh, so so there's more than one Wooly that play yeah, from I'll... soft games, I guess. <laughs> Maybe I might be mixing them up. That run here, what's the run plus R2? Yeah, that one, it's very good. Okay, I'm gonna kill all of these things to see if they drop the, the lightning shard thing. That was not, ah, uh, it's not the button. That's the button. Who are these super, oh, uh, <laughs> sadness. Uh, they were, Matt, Matt Mc, he goes by Matt McMuscles now, uh, Pat, I think is, I don't know what his Pat stares at. Maybe I don't know. Yeah. Uh, Wooly and I don't know if Liam has his own channel now. Uh, but they were all they all did a uh, channel together for a while until there was a uh, falling out of some sort, uh, which I really don't know anything about. But they were my uh, my favorite Let's Play channel for uh, uh, for a number of years. Oh, you're kidding. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say that. I feel like you asking that just aged us like a thousand years. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, I'm, I'm dying already? Oh my god, I'm falling, I'm falling apart. <laughs> oh, Pyrocla- that's interesting. I watched, I think, the first episode of their Dark Souls 2 playthrough whenever it first came out, uh, and then I don't remember why I didn't watch anymore. Probably was like, oh, well, I want to play this game myself someday. Uh, I'm trying to remember, there was the, this, um, this Dark Souls Let's Play that I really loved by this, uh, by this girl who, like, started playing it, and went in completely blind, had no idea what kind of game this was, mm -hmm. and just got her, like, teeth kicked in. But mm -hmm. slowly, like, put together all the mechanics, and watching her, like, figure things out on her own was, like, super fun to watch. Oh, that sounds cool, yeah. Yeah, it, it was just very much like, oh, like, I totally, I get this now, and then she started using an attack properly and, like, kill enemies that you initially would just be like, oh yeah, there's no way she's gonna get it. That's um, awesome. And, it was, yeah, it was so fun to watch her, like, beat the game. I think she also did a, a Thief Let's Play as well at some point. Oh, really? Oh, poor timing. Sheesh. Um. Oh, he went. Liam went to college for game design? Poor bastard. Poor. Uh, poor <laughs> bastard. Yeah. Uh, I remember. I think my favorite of their, of their series was either Deadly Premonition. Or, um, oh, what was that game? Uh, Omicron. Omicron was one of the most beautiful train wrecks in LP form to, to just ever put on YouTube. It was so good. It just this gradual, you know, many months long descent into, into, in, into just chaos and nihilism. It was amazing. 
Yeah, I I loved all of the David Cage playthroughs. Omicron was the best though because of just how much of a mess it was. Um. So uh, yeah, Dil and this the, uh, this was a sorry. oh oh no oh no <laughs> I shouldn't have tried oh, to be no. fancy. <laughs> tried to be fancy. Yeah. Mm. This was a game where it's just half the playthrough ended up turning into them not knowing where to go, or the game breaking, or, like, them running out of resources they needed for, for saving and not being able to save, and, like, all sorts of... And over the course of the whole thing, them just, you know, devolving into them, like, using a guide, but then the guide was wrong about things, so then they were like furious at the guide, and uh, then at some point I think Matt started changing the intros into like this weird like postmodern uh, Dadaist sort of surrealism, just to <laughs> reflect the the descent into madness. It was amazing. Yeah, the guide, the guy, the guy who made the guide was like the fourth <laughs> member of. <laughs> oh, that was so good. I should rewatch that. I'll just be sad though, rewatching it. Anyway, what were you trying to say before I interrupted? Um, I, I was just, I was gonna agree with um, Suo did, uh, that watching Noah's run was really funny because. In the first, in Dark Souls 1, he played it super oh, defensively, hi. like Sword and Lord. And, um, oh, goodbye, <laughs> Ogre. Um, he played it super defensively, but as he got more confident through the games, it's like, okay, now I'm gonna mix in magic. Okay, this this game, I'm gonna just use a big giant sword and just roll past everything. <laughs> That's just awesome. Watching someone go from, like, I don't know what these games are about, I'm gonna play this very slowly and carefully, to just, like, now I am literally guts from Berserk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I imagine those their let's plays are still, uh, still pretty entertaining. I think it would just make me sad to go back and watch them, though. It's the same reason why. I mean, this is this is much more, um, much more extreme. But like, that's why I I don't think I'm ever gonna watch any of um, Total Biscuits old videos. Oh man. Which is a much more extreme case, of course. Yeah. I really liked his, uh, his Deus Ex video. Um, where oh. Where he, he plays, he plays yeah. like, Liberty Island and, like, goes through, like, every little bit of Liberty Island that you can basically do. And it was such a great video. I just loved, like, uh, I, no surprise. I, I love videos where people just gush about Deus Ex or Immersive Sims for like an hour plus. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's really hard to go back to that video. Yeah. That was, uh, that was... That was sad. Yeah. That one hit me really hard, which, it's, it feels unfair to say because, like, I didn't know the guy in real life or anything, you know? It's, it feels like it's detracting from the you know, from the pain his actual family and friends are going for through in a way, or went through, but yeah, I I don't know. For some reason, that one really got to me. Yeah, cancer's fucked up. Yeah. Real fucked up. And also, it's like somehow it seemed impossible that it was actually gonna get him. Like yeah. it seemed like he was somehow he would you know he would be beyond that, which is stupid to say. But yeah, I'm I miss his stuff a lot. Grimbeard's stuff is pretty good. I've I've slowly started to peruse through his stuff because he does uh in some videos. What is uh, is he like a analysis channel or a let's player or Yeah, a little bit of both, you know, kind of, kind of bit of both of like him playing games, talking about games and um analyzing them. I think Sounds he, he did a, um, he actually did a, a, a smallish video on the Gloomwood demo, too. Oh, neat. Yeah. I think, you know what, I think I do remember that. That name sounded familiar. Hour and a half or so. Should check out some of that. Okay, oh, yeah. we have finally made our way, what time is it? Oh, it's 
time to be done, I guess. Um, you're, al you're almost to the bonfire. Yeah, I'm gonna- oh crap. I'm gonna at least, uh, get to the bonfire. Wow, you guys came out of nowhere. Yeah, Susie does good stuff too, I, I like watching her videos. She does a lot of, um, not just like Dark Souls, but her channel is basically built off um, Resident Evil, especially the like remake. Oh really? There's like so many videos analyzing like survival horror games and, and uh, she's Oh that's a, neat. You'll, you'll like this David, she's a huge fan of tank controls. Ah! Good. I like her already. Uh, wait, who, Grimbeard played Iron Lung? Uh, I wouldn't be surprised That's if he did. Huh. That's cool. I should, yeah, I should check that out. Anyone who likes tank controls is good in my book. What do you, th what do you think Dark Souls with tank controls would be like? <laughs> God. Like, that would probably uh, be really cursed, right? Or would that be amazing? I don't know. Like, survive- like, s Dark Souls reimagined as a straight-up, like, f traditional survival horror game. From Software did do a survival horror game, but I haven't played it. it. did? Oh, what? you just stood there and took it. Yeah, I- Oh, no, I am not gonna die to you. Oh, I'm at, oh no no no! That's the grab. I almost fell off too. Ooh, this is, <laughs> whoo. The the important part is that you didn't fall off, which is progress from the last time that happened. That is true. Yeah. Okay. So there is an item down there I want to get. However, those suspiciously colored boards suspiciously will suspiciously bright boards. <laughs> yeah, will dis will betray me. So we're not gonna do that. Yeah, they, they put those boards right there for people to um, to land on. And... Noob trap. Yeah, so the bonfire is to your left. Okay. This looks vaguely familiar. This whole area. Yeah, Miyazaki's shenanigan. One of my favorite parts about the series becoming very popular is this, like, uh, Oh, it's behind you, David. The oh, bonfire. Okay. Um, it's on the. Oh, the I see deep. it. Yeah. One of my favorite parts about the series becoming super popular is that like Miyazaki is kind of treated as like this ever omnipres omnipresent ghost of like he's always there making the decisions that cause you to. Get <laughs> yeah, over. he's like, the face of of everyone at From Software. It's like yeah, he has like, made all of the thing, all of the decisions that kill you. It's like, great. Even if a different level designer like put these traps there, when you die to them, you're, you 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 raise your fist and you're like Miyazaki. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How am I liking Butthole Town? Well, the thing is, I haven't really played much of it. I spent a, a good long time backtracking to do all sorts of different things. Uh, so I guess next stream is when we're going to get into Blight Town. Unfortunately, not in its its true, you know, 10 FPS glory. Uh but yeah, we'll have the Nvidia control panel uh, limit the game. To <laughs> yeah, to get the tr that's the uh, getting back to the gatekeeping stuff where it's like, oh, you <laughs> you haven't truly beat Blight Town unless it's at 10 FPS. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna head to bed, get ready for family to be at the house tomorrow. Yay. Um. But yeah, thanks to everyone for coming to the stream. I will stream more Dark Souls again soon. Uh, I've been just kind of... Well, Not I I streamed an extra day this week because I wanted to play more Dark Souls. Uh, and I might do that again this week. We'll see. Um, but yeah, happy Easter, everyone. Happy all sorts of holidays that happen around this time. Um, and thank you, Dylan, for showing up again. Of course. Uh, and yep, see everyone later. Bye.